Pass falls incomplete. Arizona advances to the Arena Bowl. Colorado, their season's over. The rematch is next on FSN. Live from downtown Phoenix, America West Arena, as we move inside AFL action. Tonight, the Colorado Crush and the Arizona Rattlers. Hi, everybody. Cantor Devonis along with Ron Wolfley. Welcome to the AFL on FSN. We're so pleased you've joined us for these football games. And, Ron, when the season began, folks say this will be the two best teams, many say, in the conference. And right now, both teams one and two. Yeah, and it's kind of a tale of two cities, Kent, and two different smells as well. You look at Colorado's one and two, they almost smell like Paris in April, for crying out loud. They have played well in two losses. You look at... Arizona's one and two, and it almost smells like Rome burning, frankly. They have not played well. They have not protected the passer, and they have not protected the football as well. I like it. Now, now let's start with France. John Dutton, a quarterback, a solid quarterback. We've seen that through the years, and again, he's off to another fine start. Yeah, John Dutton is the quintessential passer in the Arena Football League, as far as I'm concerned. This is a big, strong guy who drops back, sets up strong in the pocket, has a quick release, and he's a very accurate passer as well. Now, he's not very mobile, but you don't need to be mobile in this league. You need to be able to set up in the pocket and throw on timing. Head coach Mike Daly said that's the key to their success. On the other side for Arizona, it's been a different story. Cedric Bonner, arguably one of the best quarterbacks around, but he's not going right now to Joe Germain. You know, I think, Ken, I think he's the best quarterback ever to play in the Arena Football League, and the Arizona Rattlers are definitely missing this guy. It's not just his arm. It's not, it's not the fact that he's a big, strong guy back there, and he steps up in the pocket as well as anybody and reads the field better than any quarterback in the Arena Football League. What they're really missing is his leadership leadership and his poise and that is something that I think Joe Germain is really gonna have to pick up here tonight Joe Germain has struggled in his two outings and it kind of looked like he was a little rattled Kent, to tell you the truth I mean you can't call it any other way he's got to come out here tonight and get off to a quick start a good start tonight complete some passes and get this team on a roll early yeah Todd Shell might have a quick hook should be some fun the Arizona Rattlers to crush Two teams expected to be very good. Neither can afford their third loss. Should be another rock'em, sock'em battle. AFL football coming up right after these messages. The kickoff is next here on FSN. Ready for a more exciting fantasy football experience? AFL fantasy football is back and better than ever. Log on to AFLfantasy.com for a chance to win weekly and season-long cash prizes. More yards. More scoring. More excitement. AFL Fantasy Football, powered by Sandbox. Sign up and get in on the action. In competition, injuries happen. It's part of the game. And to get back your level of performance takes a lot of hard work, discipline, and the best health care. Health South is the nation's leading provider of outpatient diagnostic, surgery, and rehabilitation services. So we can help you get back fast to the action, the competition, and the glory. We know your body. We understand your spirit. We get you back. On the next Head to Head with James Brown. For 83 years, the Red Sox were lovable losers. Now that they've reversed the curse, how will they handle success? Plus, he's brash, he's blunt, and he's NASCAR's new champion. James Alasco finds out what makes Kurt Busch tick. And 
Is poker just a fad, or is it here to stay? Find out what drives this new phenomenon. Head to Head with James Brown, next Monday on FSN. We live the magic of the 2001 World Series when the Diamondbacks defeated the Yankees in a dramatic Game 7. Tune in on Saturday, February 26th at 10.30 a.m. for this special presentation. The Diamondbacks are world Don't miss your chance to witness the excitement of Game 7 in its entirety, featuring interviews with some of the champion Diamondbacks. A magical night in the desert. Game 7 on Saturday, February 26th at 10.30 a.m. Only on FSN Arizona. Colorado and Arizona in a matter of moments here from what's known as the Snake Pit. Let's uh, head down to Kevin McCabe. You've seen him on Fox NFL games. Kevin, you look better uh, indoors than outdoors. Yeah, down here on the sidelines as it gets set to honor the legend here in the Valley, Hunky Cooper, the all-time purpose yard leader for the AFL. We're talking to one of his teammates over the years, Cedric Bonner, the quarterback. What has number 14 meant to you? Uh, a whole lot of courage and heart. A guy that uh, epitomizes the word Iron Man. Doesn't know how to quit. Just continues to play hard, and, and, and it's clearly a great example for younger players. Yeah, and this year they talked about having him retire. He came in and said, "No, I'm playing one more year." How crazy! How much fun when you heard those words? Well, it, it was nice that he came and asked us what we thought about the situation, and we don't want to play without him. We want to work hard with him. The fans here love him, and he's the guy that gets us going. He's our tempo setter. We didn't want him to be, be outside of this uniform, so we want him to stay here and play. You hear the crowd, they're on their feet here, a standing ovation for this legend. Every year they bring in young ball players, they say, okay, this is a guy, and yet he continues to keep going. Has it amazed you? No, it hasn't, because I know his heart. You can't measure a man's heart. He clearly understands the game. He, he has such a passion for it. I mean, you can't teach that. You can have all the skills and talent, but when you don't have that heart, this guy has so much heart and so much will to get it done. It's amazing to be with him, and I'm, I'm fortunate to be playing with him, too. I've played with him for so long. All right. It's been a crazy year. He started the year on injured reserve for the first time in his life. Now you're on injured reserve. How crazy has, it, has that been for this team to not have the two of you out there together? It's not fun, but what it does is it helps us grow as an entire team, helps some younger guys get in there and do some things and, and get some playing time. And I think later on down the road, it'll make us a stronger team throughout, top to bottom. I wouldn't be a reporter if I didn't ask. Of course, you're on the injured reserve. I saw you up in warm-ups. Trying to get the offensive line going, taking snaps. You thought you'd play this week. You got close. How close are you? Uh, I think I'm about a week away. I'm uh, I'm gonna work hard all all week and, and just try to get it ready for the contact and ready for the commitment to play this game. All right. How important is this game tonight? I know this has kind of become a rivalry game. You knocked him out of the playoffs last year. You're both one and two. Can you afford to get a third loss? Definitely. And, and, and right now it's a situation. You say we're both hungry. We both need a win. Uh, we've got the home field advantage. It's crowded here. Everybody's excited. We gotta come away with a win. Somehow, whatever it takes, and that's the motto, whatever it takes tonight to get a win. You tell Joe to settle in, Joe Jermaine to settle in, calm down. Hey, he's he's been calm. We've we've all gotta pick up our slack. It's all of us. It's not just Joe Jermaine. Everyone has to do their part. The line has to do their part, part the special teams. And I think if everybody just collectively does that, we're gonna be in real good shape tonight. All right, go get in the huddle there with your team. I know they need your inspiration as well. First class, even when he's not on the field, a leader with this Arizona Rattlers football team. We are about set for the kickoff here, and for that, we'll send you back upstairs to Kent and Wolf. All right, thank you, Kevin. As we talked about before, Wolf, you take a look at these two teams. Hey. One would like to have Cedric Bonner out there. As far as Colorado, a team that uh, under Mike Daly, they have never lost uh, two in a row. They have a lot on the line in a game like this, and you talk about a team that's got a skilled quarterback, but again, like all AFL games, it comes down to play on the line of scrimmage. But we were talking to Mike Daly. What about the quarterback that was during the week? He said, you know what, guys? You cannot win. You cannot win in the Arena Football League if you do not have a good quarterback. You can do it in other games where you're playing football, but you cannot do it in the Arena League. Have a subpar quarterback. The quarterback position is critical. Colorado will get the ball to get this one started. There's a former Colorado Rush crush player and uh, Anthony Brenner kicked with them last year. Now with the Arizona Rattlers. Rattlers won the coin toss. You're referring the choice to the second half. Back to receive Willis Marshall, a talented player who is out of Youngstown State and has won everywhere he has been, whether it be high school, 1AA football, the CFL, or the Arena Football League. Everywhere he's been, they've won a championship. 
He's hopeful they came so close last year, but fell one pass short. Boy, and then you get a guy like me up here, Kent, that played 10 years <laughs> in the NFL, and I, I never we I never went to a playoff game for crying out loud. We we I remember we won seven games one year, and I got up with a towel at Sun Devil Stadium and got up there and got the crowd going after winning seven games. <laughs> That is an incredible feat to go wherever you've gone and be successful. Pretty good sized crowd here at America West Arena. Hunky Cooper's team one and two. Colorado the same one loss record, but they've had some very close losses against talented teams. Orlando and uh, Chicago. This guy hasn't had a whole lot to cheer about, at least when the Arizona Rattlers had their first game losing to Orlando here and Simply Wolf didn't play very well for the crush coming down to the fact that it was the kicking game. According to Mike Davis, it really hurt him. Yeah, and, and they were close ball games. And, you know, I, I believe in moral victories. I really do. Now, maybe not for an established football team like the Colorado Crush, as well as they were playing at the end of the year last year. But you know what? You can at least say we were in the game for crying out loud. It's a lot better than getting blown out by 21 in the fourth quarter. Well, they were at it last time they met, playing for the uh, first to the Arena Bowl. John Dutton pass for McKenzie was out of bounds. Mike Daly, who's already been an AFL coach of the year and has been to the Arena Bowl, they came so close, losing the semifinals here at the America West Arena. And they're both in a tough spot here, needing a win in the worst way. Short kick by Brenner. Marshall up to the five. Slow down, stays on his feet. Randy Gatewood drops him at the 10 yard line and we're underway. Take a look at the Health South starting lineup for the crush. John Dutton, the quarterback, and take a look, boy. These are four wideouts, and then John Payola, the fullback. These are outstanding wide receivers. Up front, the key in all arena games. What type of protection you get? Big man, of course, Kyle Moore Brown up front. And we said before, you look at uh, a team that has had uh, a lot of size, Wolf. They can go get them, and that's a big part of it if you can take advantage of some of the small DBs in this league. Absolutely. That's what makes Damian Harrell as dangerous as he is. This is a big receiver at 6'3 out there. Harrell will be in the slot. Marshall, corner of your screen, circles in high motion. And Marshall makes the grab, slowed down by Terrence <laughs> Joseph. Going to pick up a five. Todd Shell was a defensive coordinator with the Rattlers years ago, and now the head coach. This is his defense. And a defense that's looking to do a better job. Nikki Adderson up front in the nose. Vince Amy activated for this game. And then, of course, uh, in the secondary, Lawson, Joseph, and Gatewood, Hunky Cooper, Frank Trinidou are the linebackers. Right now, they've opted to bring Terry Taylor in there. And this pass is incomplete. Lawson had the coverage on the four board line and get it for Marshall. Third down. Rattler's able to get a little pressure on Dutton that time, forcing him to his left. And I'm a big believer in the Arena Football League that that's what you need to do. You know, you don't need to just get sacks out there on the field. What you need to do is go ahead and change the rhythm of the quarterback. Force him out of the pocket, get to him, make him throw the ball sooner than he wants to, maybe. Those are just the effective tools that's coming up with a sack, in my opinion. Big key to Arizona's drive is what they do. Wendell Gaines, Dutton. On a third down and four, just the away here from Phoenix. He has plenty of time, and it's incomplete. Cooper providing the coverage, pass intended from McKenzie. And right off the bat, Arizona gets a stop. That is huge in this game. A lot of stats don't mean a whole lot. The one when it comes to stop is big, and here's a stop right here. Well, right here, you can see the Rattlers starting to get a little pressure coming up the middle, and you saw Dutton, John Dutton, and this is something you don't typically see out of him. He went ahead, and he double-clutched. He went to pump the ball on rhythm, and then all of a sudden brought it back because the DB was sneaking up for the Rattlers. A great job by the Rattlers' defense. The field goal attempt, it has the distance, and it has the accuracy. Break in the action, 12 and a half remaining. It is a stop. Rattler's pleased about that as they now trail by score 3-0. Mike Daly's team didn't get seven. They'll take the three right here on FSN. I will not be afraid of the dark. 
I will not feel guilty leaving my dog alone. I will know my children are safe. I will finally be able to relax! A single ADT system can help protect your home and family from burglary, fire, and carbon monoxide. Call now and save over $100 off the regular price when you buy ADT's family package. Plus, save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP. ADT. Always there. While you were waiting to be probed and searched at the airport, our slot machine paid out $50,000. I have a book, notebook. I don't need a story, I just need you to unpack it. More money than any other casino in Arizona. What are you waiting for? Cola, cola, cola. How's the jingle for the President's Day 60-hour Corolla sale coming? Rock. Hail to Corolla, you really are a neat car. And right now, at an extra special value to, oh yeah! <laughs> That's great. Then you can work in the $159 a month lease offer. Or this could work. Happy birthday, George and Abe. Rock and you on the I must save a wallet full of presidents. At the 60 hour sale! See your Valley Toyota dealers now! Toyota, moving forward. 50-yard field goal for Clay Rush, putting Colorado on top. He missed a 22-yarder that would have sent the game into overtime against Chicago. And he's a guy who kicked before with uh, Mike Daly at Indiana. Highly regarded as strong leg. Sia Burley back to receive. Got a nice job taking kicks off the net this year. Gets a nice block, digging and zagging and hit from behind. Right near the 15-yard line. And drop down. Arizona Rattlers. Offensively, you saw Sia Burley. And at the quarterback spot, Joe Germain, Gatewood Cooper, some veterans. Frank Trinidou expected to start, although we may see Terry Taylor. It will be Taylor up front, Vince Amy, and Mark Tucker. Tucker, formerly of SC, Amy out of uh, Arizona State and Wendell Gaines, Oklahoma State. Joe Germain, yeah, he was a talented quarterback at Ohio State, led them over a big Rose Bowl win, beating ASU a number of years ago. Kyle Burley for the first down. Pretty good defensive unit for the crush, based on some of the numbers the stops have had this year. Barno got into the lineup for this one. Have to uh, the other defensive end. Rashad Floyd, one of the best, very versatile athletes, has been both a two way player, right now a defensive specialist. Leading the league in tackles. Ball near the 18, Jermaine. Catch is made, squeezed in nicely, not uh, necessarily easy. Ball kind of slipped from uh, Sire Burley. Rashad Floyd, a uh, Good athlete, plays a little basketball, uh, did so collegially along with football at Portland State. This is a good job by the Arizona uh, coaching staff trying to ease Joe Germain into this game. You see right there, just a couple of quick hooks down the field, try to get this guy a little confidence and a little rhythm going early in this game. Larry Kaharich is the offensive coordinator. His dad played with the old Chicago Cardinals and one time head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, Germain. Time. Nice job defensively, incomplete Rashad Floyd. Defending that pass very well down inside the five. You know, one of the things that Larry Kuharic wants to see in Joe Germain is him not seeing the pass rush, but seeing downfield. What you have to do when you play quarterback, Kent, you have to feel the pass rush and look past it and see the coverage down the field. And I think that that's probably what the Arizona Rattlers are a little concerned with with Joe Germain. He's not seeing the field or the coverage down there. He's seeing more of the pass rush. Todd Shell acknowledging that earlier, that it takes a while to get him acclimated to the indoor game on third down and short. He's got some time. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, that's going to be a big confidence boost to Joe Germain right there. And the reason being is because not only did he double clutch, not only did he go ahead and take a look down the field and pull it back, but he also came to Sia Burley, came off Sia Burley, and then went back to Sia Burley. 
That's a, that's a great progression right there and a big confidence boost for Joe Germain. Germain getting plenty of time from his line. The PAT by Anthony Brenner is good. So the Raptors take the lead. Joe Germain, a touchdown pass. And the team in the copper black and teal with early lead from America West right here on FSN. quarterback needs a high definition widescreen projection TV monitor. Aaron's has a great selection at the guaranteed lowest price. Game over? Game over? What? help with a criminal or DUI case, please remember Phillips and Associates. I have lived in the valley most of my life and never needed an attorney, but when I did, Phillips and Associates was there for me. They were prompt, courteous, and caring, but most importantly, they addressed all of my concerns in the utmost professional manner. I highly recommend Phillips and Associates. For an experienced, aggressive attorney, please call us right now, 602-258-8888. Welcome back to America West Arena. The Rattlers with a big touchdown lead at 7-3 over the Colorado Crush by a early three or four catches on the first drive. Was it just a matter of remaining patient for the touchdown? Uh, they just played a lot of zone, you know, and uh, Joe was smart. He delivered the ball in the openings, and I just, you know, found a way to get open down there. They're mixing up some coverages. Just trying to fill them out in that first drive, and, and Joe played great. All right, good to get the start. Let's go back upstairs to Kent Dernabon. All right, thank you, Kevin. Arizona leads it 7-3. As talked before, it's so much about uh, time, and he had plenty of that to find uh, an open receiver in the end zone in Fab Early. Yeah, you know, it's it's not rocket science, that's for sure. You just got to read the zone. A short kick, and McKenzie up to the five gets a nice block and then brought down at about the 18-yard line. Hunky Cooper down there along with Terry Taylor talked before about this sport uh, how tough you have to be and guys who have played both and what you said before you told you to play this game but here are a couple of guys that uh, go both ways and do it quite well yeah these guys are the iron men out here and you, as you said Kent, they do go both ways and randy gatewood's been doing it for a long time and kevin mckenzie what probably four this is his fifth year in the league but uh, an Iron Man is a guy that goes both ways. And, folks, that is the biggest thing that separates the Arena Football League from any other football league out there. The fact that you've got to go both ways. Six of the eight guys out on the field, and it's a tough thing to do. McKenzie uh, certainly talented. He's a guy that uh, is good friends with uh, Snoop Dogg, as you see uh, Kerry Taylor walking off the field. And apparently Snoop Dogg wants to coach the Steelers. Wow. And remember now, Snoop worked out with the USC Trojans. I'm not sure... He's got enough girth to uh, get in the NFL, even as a coach, but uh, he loves uh, both the indoor game and the NFL. I mean, that's big. That's hanging yeah. out with a big guy. That's a new dog. You betcha. Snoop. Harrell in motion. Dutton, late pressure, and Harrell makes the grab. Into the carpet the near board line by Terrence Joseph. This is always a challenge for DBs. Harrell with great leap and ability and a good size target. Well, first of all, you've got to lay off him so much because of that big speed that he's got. And I say big speed because sometimes you have a receiver who is not only quick, but a guy that is big. And that really is the kiss of death if you're a man coverage guy in, in the back. Uh, defensive backfield waiting for that post corner. And right there, you can see it. A little post, a little corner shake. Which one is he going to take? And it's almost a guessing game when you're in man coverage. 22-yard pickup for Harold. I know that, that NFL cornerbacks would need uh, a pair of the pens and a couple <laughs> of modians to go and take a guy that has a high motion, a 15-yard sprint at the line of scrimmage. You see the head start, top of your screen, Harold's off, 
and it's incomplete, a captable ball that was dropped by Andy McCullough, who played uh, briefly with the Arizona Cardinals. Get out of Tennessee. Second down and 10. Talking to Mike Daly before this game as well, he was talking about Robert Red, the receiver that they really miss that has gone on with the Patriots now, and he said, you know, we got Damian Harrell and we got McCullough out there, but Robert Red gave us something different than those guys. They lost four players to the NFL from last year, and it's caught for the touchdown. It's getting grabbed made by McCullough. Joseph with the coverage, and Colorado has the lead. See, and that's what it is right there when you play man coverage and you've got a wide receiver who takes that high motion like McCullough did. Now all of a sudden he's going to run a post corner option. And all he's going to do is he's going to read the body language of the defensive back. Watch Dutton. He's pretty much looking all the way for McCullough. And he just chose the corner instead of the post, Kent. And what you do is either you go right or you go left. And it's based on the body language of that DB. And the quarterback reads it, so does the receiver. Tough proposition on the coverage for Terrence Joseph. Play rush with the PAT, and it is good. So Colorado has the lead back. Boy, last week, uh, these two teams went back and forth. It was Chicago and Colorado. Lead changed hands 10 times. We've had a change already in the early going. Right now, the crush on top on FSN. The greatest source of America's generosity is the good heart of the people. In the aftermath of the devastating tsunami, we come to you not as presidents, but as two private citizens. Everyone can help, and every dollar contributed will impact someone's life. So visit usafreedomcorps.gov to choose a reputable, authorized charity to accept your donations directly. No one can change what happened. But we can all change what happens next. Thank you. Thank you. Bon Jovi. Hell, eh? What you doing in Vegas, little buddy? We're gonna be here for the Arena Bowl this June. You dream it. Am I? Why don't we settle this thing right now? Go for it. This June, the AFL Championship game, Arena Bowl 19, is playing Vegas. For tickets, call 1-866-AFL-TICKS today. The Room Store's huge President's Day sale is on now. Save up to 50% off, and for the first time ever, get 0% interest till President's Day, not 2006, not 2007, not even 2008, but 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. Save on famous name brands like Broyhill, Sealy, Posturepedic, Viewpoint Leather, Lane, and more, and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. At the Room Store. Don't miss it. John Elway's crush with a three-point lead here in the first quarter with Ron Wolfley, Kent Nevada. Say, folks, don't forget you can get all the insight of the AFL game with AFL Weekly, hosted by Chris Rose, Mondays at 3.30 on FSN. We worked hard to get all the uh, highlights, interviews, some live, some tape, and two teams. Hopefully they're talking about a win for their squad. You know, here's the scariest play in football right here, guys. Yeah, this play right here coming from kickoff, that'll turn your hair on fire. I guarantee you, you feel like Sybil running down the field because you know there's about eight people trying to knock your head off. Watch the Gladiators do battle. Sia Hurley cuts back and loses a tackler, a flag on the field. Hurley, open field running, one man to beat that rush. He waves goodbye and brought down by Rashad Floyd inside the 10 at the 6-yard line. We'll see about the penalty flag. Well, that's the one thing Sire Burley does so well for the Arizona Rattlers is his play off the net, returning those kickoffs. Block in the back against Colorado. Well, old Dennis forgot to turn his mic on there, Ken, but Sire, Sire Burley is a guy that is one of the better guys off the net. And here it comes right there off the net. Sia Burley grabs it. Now watch. Typically when you zig and you zag, all of a sudden you say, I'm going to go left and now I'm going to go right. And typically when that happens, you're really endangering yourself of being tackled. And anytime you come one-on-one -on -one with a kicker, you better beat him. He's got no knee pads in. He's got no thigh pads for crying out loud. He has no tackling skills. You better beat the kicker. Todd Shell. Now, despite the fact the ball now is brought back, he doesn't like the uh, situation here. 
That really hurt on the block in the back. Could have given him first and goal. Now it's first down and 10. Back inside the five-yard line. This one behind the intended receiver. And that was Tom Payson. Penalties have really hurt Arizona in the last uh, couple of games. We're talking about double digit. They were throwing lots of flags last week. You can see Joe Germain right there on the last play. You know, he just didn't look sharp. He threw that ball down and away from Tom Pace when he really didn't have to throw it. You want to be able to throw that out route away, but it doesn't have to be down and away, and that makes me think he's a little jittery. Germain will send Burley in high motion. Germain's got time. Pumps. Tom Pace makes the grab. Has the first down. And whirled down at about the 13. Tom Pace, kid out of Arizona State. He was cleaning pools and all of a sudden uh, got the opportunity to play in the AFL. His dad jumped through all the games and his grandfather played with, uh, drafted by the Chicago Bears and uh, later played. Defense. Of the 10 yard tack on penalty, automatic first down. On Brian Shaw. Well, Joe Germain goes ahead and sets up in the pocket and delivers the ball. I think it's probably a good call by the official. Sometimes you can get a little too goosey trying to get after that quarterback, and that was something the Crush wanted to do coming into this game. Look, you've got a quarterback who struggled over the last couple of games, a guy who looks a little jittery back there, doing a little Fred Astaire maybe every now and then in the pocket. Why not go after the guy? But, of course, that's the name of the game in the Arena Football League. But I would expect to see those types of hits on Joe Germain as the game co continues to unfold here. Not a legal hit, but really trying to get to him and knock him down. And a case where Colorado would feel, okay, they'll give up the arts, not the end of the world if it helps out in the long run. Frank Trinidou is the fullback behind Joe Germain. Guard eligible on the right side for Arizona. At pace in high motion. And taken off the pace of Otto Hawkins. Draw to Trinidou. Another flag, scrambles down inside the 10 and fights for the end zone and goes out of the five yard line. But again, a penalty flag back near the line of scrimmage. Well, the Rattlers come with a little draw play, trying to confuse the crush, and it's one of the things you can do to help slow down that pass rush as well. You can either run the ball, run a draw play like that, or go ahead to a quick three step scheme cutting that down lineman. Illegal formation, the linebacker was in the second neutral zone. That penalty will be declined. He's all the play. First step. So this one will work for Arizona. He didn't identify the uh, linebacker, but it uh, was the jackpot. Well, right there, he was in the second neutral zone, as you can say. And that means he's breaking the butt. He cannot do that. That backer cannot get up there with his helmet and break the butt line of those front down linemen. That is a violation in the Arena Football League. And that's what you can be in the first neutral zone, Kent. You can't be in the second one. Yeah, and it works backwards. It works backwards for a linebacker. The first neutral zone for him is with depth. The second one's actually breaking the butt. Works out for Trinidad to be a gain. Now first and goal from the five. Justin Taplin, one of your screen for Arizona. Jermaine throws and intended for Taplin, incomplete. Remember, off the boards is a live ball, except in the end zone, it becomes a dead ball. Second down and goal from the five. Well, what about the, as Chair uh, Harris and uh, Joe Jermaine discuss it, uh, less real estate, tougher to score when you get down inside the 15 yard line? Yeah, that really is. Uh a big difference about the arena football league you get down there and the square footage just gets reduced there's more hits per capita in the arena football league than any other football league out there and it's because of the square footage being reduced the bodies are going to be hitting the floor hawkins floyd and hugley the dbs pace in motion jermaine lots of time tucked in arizona justin taplin Another confidence builder for Joe Germain. He sets up here in the pocket. He feels a little pressure. And even though he's got kind of a long release, he throws the ball with some hair on it. 
That's what you want to do, Ted. You throw the ball with some giddy up on it when you're down inside that 10 yard line because they try to set up the picket fence and force you to throw the ball through it. There was some concern earlier that he might be throwing the ball too hard for the indoor game, but you're right, in that situation, you got to drill it. He does. And Arizona adding to their lead. Hey, tomorrow, ACC Sunday Night Hoops returns when fifth-ranked Wake Forest battles number seven Duke. Showdown between conference rivals and national contenders. Conference begins tomorrow. Now all that coverage, 4.30 Mountain Time, right here on FSN. We've had one stop here in the uh, first quarter. And that was when they forced play rush to boot a 50-yard field goal. But uh, from Arizona's perspective, Iran, uh, they got to like what uh, Joe Tremaine is doing here thus far. And for Colorado, we said before, this is a defense, a well-coached team. A lot of players back from a team that won 11 and lost five. But for Jermaine, he's got to be feeling pretty good right now. He's got to be feeling great. This is the best start he could possibly get. You know what, Kat? I'll tell you what. It's such a mental game. People look at it. They look at the, the uh, football, and they say it's, such, it's just physical. It's about being physical out there on the field. But I'll tell you what, it's about being mental as well, going out there and playing well. And Mike Daly, the head coach of the Crush, said it takes a while to get ready for this league. Talking about, he says, we know Joe Jermaine's a good quarterback. Uh, Joe went to camp and played in the preseason for the uh, San Diego Chargers. And for the likable Mike Daly, who is highly regarded, and he knows this game as well as anybody. And he is a master when it comes down to uh, what to do in the closing minute of a half. But, but he knew that it wouldn't be easy coming in despite the struggle for Arizona the last couple of weeks. Well, Joe Germain has not disappointed him. He has stepped up to the plate. He's played well, and he's going to continue to have to do that. The Rattlers want to win this game. Hawkins, this one hot off the iron. A little bit of a delay from on Hawkins. A lose a couple of tacklers, gets by Trinidad down the board line. Tom Pace, can he catch him? And he cannot, and that is a touchdown for Colorado. Wow, and then we talk about sometimes you, you get a hot bounce off the iron and it affects the coverage defensively and making mince me to the Arizona, Arizona defense. I'm out of hockey. That was just horrible cover, coverage, I can say, by the Arizona Rattlers. I mean, Hawkins was weaving, bobbing in and out, and I just Number didn't see the effort out of the Arizona Elf Rattlers on that cover. Hawkins, nicknamed the Birdman. Yeah, he's flying pretty high right now. Talented player. First name after uh, Ahmad Rashad. Former Oregon football player, NFL star. Clay Rush drills the PAT. And Arizona now down as Colorado. Gets the lead back, and this one going back and forth. That was a great kick by Brenner, hitting the bottom of the iron. That's what you want. It pops the ball up in the air, gives your coverage team more time. But Hawkins just bobbing in and out. And, and any time you can zigzag like that and you don't run into pursuit, you've got real problems. 53-yard return. We said, well, you get a ball, that's what you want to hit off the iron. But uh, it does affect your coverage, and Arizona has really struggled with the kickoff coverage. Renner, the former crush kicker, gave it a go, but to no avail. Well, that's a big play, motivation-wise, for the Colorado crush. It really is, because all of a sudden, it puts them right back into it. Downstairs to Kevin McCabe. How about Hawkins with a big touchdown run here with the Birdman on the sideline? Was it, did it help you that it came up the iron and gave you a little time? That's how most returns is. The lady you can control the ball. The coverage break down to give my, my guys a better chance to see what they're blocked from me. I just owe everything to the Lord and to my teammates because it starts with them first. I'm supposed to make plays like that, especially that type of block. Big touchdown, though. Puts the crush on top right now. Let's go back upstairs, guys. All right, thank you, Kevin. Arizona and Colorado, the crush leading in this seesaw affair in the early going. 17. Another one off there. Now, watch this bounce. It's taken by Burley, who's belted in the end zone. Oh, and a flag. Willis Marshall down there, along with one of the big boys. And for uh, the crush, that's Maurice Anderson. Sire Burley's going to wake up with bloody sheets tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Anytime you take a shot like that in between the shoulder. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. 
the receiver did not have an opportunity to catch the ball, and the kicking team penetrated the five-yard line. <laughs> that five-yard penalty will be added from the five-yard line, first down at the 10-yard line. And Ron, hard to hold back. Uh, Daly's team is aggressive defensively. You got a shot, you take it. Well, the worst thing about this is you take this shot, and you know what? It really didn't mean anything because you got the ball basically and you gained five yards. So the Zebras go ahead and they move the ball five yards down the field, but Cy Burley gets up and he's going to have bloody sheets tomorrow. Rashad Floyd. So Joe Germain's team is down. Arizona trails 17 to 14, wide open. Wilson Thomas. He slips on the carpet. Usually kept him down. Wilson Thomas, the kid out of Nebraska, who also played basketball at Lincoln and new to the league and was at Kent most recently with the Green Bay Packers. See, you don't need to know the wing speed velocity of a Layton Sparrow to play quarterback in this league. Joe Germain dropped back, looked down the field, two safeties high with a roll-up corner to the field. Wilson Thomas just sat it down and Joe said, wait a minute, you got too high, I got a post, I'm just going to go ahead and throw on the check down. With the first down, Zia Burley in motion. Top of your screen, Jermaine, flag. Justin Taplin makes the grab, short of the first down. But again, a bevy of flags. Typically, Boy. they like to move the game along, but uh, sometimes it's too <laughs> obvious, and you have no choice. But we saw a lot there last week. When there's three flags down there, too, somebody somebody was doing some holding catch. You had the referee. I know he was throwing a holding, uh, holding flag. I'm sure the umpire, and a lot of times they'll do that, can't they'll see one guy throwing and it's it just kind of, it's a chain reaction. They all just start throwing. Did it flip there here? are two fouls on the play. Holding, number 93, offense. Illegal defense. We had a twist on 97, defense. Those penalties will offset, will replay, first stop. So through all that, uh, we don't move it around. <laughs> A Sunday catch the AFL on NBC. Our broadcast partners bring you two big games. The Philadelphia Soul travel to New Orleans to face the Voodoo, or you can watch the San Jose Sabercats and the LA Avengers. Check your local listing for the game times in your area. AFL on NBC. On FSN on this Saturday night with Ron Wolfley, Kent Rodovanis, happy you've joined us. Two uh, well-respected teams, but both teams losing two of their first three to begin the season. Joe Germain will send Burley in high motion. Picked up by Rashad Floyd for Colorado. Germain again with time. Wilson Thomas incomplete. Overthrew him. Thomas kind of turned around. And the coverage down there on Wilson Thomas. Done nicely by Delvin Hughley. Colorado doing a good job mixing it up. Sometimes they're playing zone. Sometimes they're playing man. They played an awful lot of zone on that first possession with Joe Germain. I think they, they were hoping to kind of force him into making a mistake. When you play man, you typically don't get a lot of turnovers, and it's because your, your defender is running so closely to the wide receiver, so you don't typically get a lot of chances to make a play on the ball, but zone, you do. Burnsley and uh, Hartlow, the other coaches, follow daily. They've been together, different locations. Germain in trouble, and down he goes. The quarterback sack. Nice job done defensively by the crush as Bryant Shaw got in rather easily. Easily, I would say so. Bryant Shaw went right around. Right around the Arizona Rattler offensive guard. Yeah, I mean, it was like lightning. That is the end of the first quarter. What else would you expect? A close game. Colorado and Arizona. The crush have the lead. Second quarter coming up next on FSN. Dale Worsham wins it all again for Checker. On FSN is presented by ADT, America's residential and commercial security leader. By Health South, the official health care provider of the Arena Football League. And by Aaron. Do the math and you'll choose Aaron's for dream products at dream prices. Back indoors, America West Arena. Yeah, they are uh, goofy for the hometown team, although... The crush certainly uh, well supported. There are a few Colorado fans. But yeah, no mistake who this guy is. Yeah, I'll tell you. I wonder how long that takes that guy to get ready for a game cat. He needs some meat on that uh, ribcage. I mean, my goodness. That, that is, <laughs> that, there's a lot of effort there. 
Well, his wife knows he's going to work, I guess. Working here at America West. Gaywood makes the reception down inside the 15-yard line. Here are the AFL Fantasy Leaders presented by the U.S. Army. Big deal in this league. Are the uh, fantasy players you can see right at the top. The guy with the New Orleans voodoo, Aaron Bailey, talented, and James Rowe. We look at the, and the quarterback. You get down to uh, Andy Kelly, who's a veteran in this league. And that has taken over big time in the AFL. AFL.com, place to go. And get down to your fantasy leaders as Jermaine overthrows the receiver. Pretty good coverage down there as Ty Burley, the intended receiver, and well covered. Well, that's just a bad throw by Joe Germain. He had man coverage, one on one down the field. Sia Burley locked up with a defender, and he just did not give him a chance to catch the ball. That's the one thing you got to do, in particular on fourth down like that. You've got to go ahead and give your receiver a chance to make a play on the ball. Joe Germain. And his team is stopped for the first time tonight. Hughley provided the coverage. So now stop for each team. And John Dutton's squad for the crush taken over. And the quarterback of Nevada. Short drop. And this one sails into the seat. The RPMs on that one. That play was made by Wendell Gaines, who totally was expecting that little quick screen out there. He was the field defensive end lined up read it all the way. Dutton threw that ball out there. I mean, it almost broke somebody's nose. Well, and, and he worked hard. He gets to keep the uh, the souvenir in the AFL. That's the, one, that's the one thing about the Arena Football League is, you know, you might go ahead and break somebody's nose or <laughs> whether the ball's he doing it or, or one minute a player might go over the boards. Then the player must leave. He has one minute to catch for a former lineman. They had some problems with the equipment with Harrell, and they're getting that squared away. Monkey oh, Cooper, his team, is they were certainly welcome back last week. Always talking, and for good reason. <laughs> they showed a shot earlier of Hunky's uh, wife in the stands, and her his kids are here. And she was shocked when he went up to the podium and said, I'm not going to retire. I want to come back. And he hadn't even told her. She thought he was going to go through with the retirement. Dutton on second. Down, flat throw. Harold makes the grab. Now Mark Tucker, I think, jumped off sides, the nose guard. And you, you can never allow that to happen. In particular, Mark Tucker is a big guy. He plays center. That's his specialty for the Arizona Rattlers. And to jump off sides like that, that's just uh, that's horrible because you're not a pass rusher to begin with. you got to watch the ball. On the other end, uh, Colorado's players are basically defensive players who Mike Daly instructs to block. I think a Mark Tucker Illegal was Illegal formation, number 56 of the defense was not lighting up directly on the center. That's called shading. That penalty is accepted. We'll replay by after five yards, second down. Get to your thought in a moment. Uh, well, tomorrow, NASCAR on Fox returns with the 47th running of the Great American Race. 43 drivers will flash in the fiercest, fastest, most high-powered sport event of the world. Our NASCAR coverage begins with a Daytona 500 in high definition. Tomorrow at 11, mountain time only on Fox. Dutton will send in high motion. McKenzie makes the grab. Down at about the 23, and that's the first down. I would say Mark Tucker, I think Mark Tucker is a dying breed in this league. What they're going to do, I think, in the future, owners, coaches, they're going to go out and they're going to get defensive linemen period they're not going to even worry about offensive linemen they're going to get defensive linemen guys who can rush the passer and they're going to teach them how to pass protect instead of the other way around and it sounds kind of strange because you talk about the offense in the afl but really you win games based on defensive stops that play is blown dead but you also can win a game with all too many mistakes made by the opponent both teams black quite a bit here in the early going then Lipsky will Prior let us know. to the snap, false start, number 67, offense. That's a five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Old Dennis sounds like my eighth-grade biology teacher. <laughs> That's it. Chris Watton, uh, former uh, Cardinal and former Denver Bronco. It's a miscue. And Daly didn't get too high, didn't get too low. 
Minus 20 yards and penalties on the crush. Dutton time. Harrell makes the grab. And he fights for the goal line, loses the football, and they say he is down. Arizona fans don't like that. Todd Shell comes out as Lawson came up with the ball. But Harrell whistle is down at the one yard line. Damian Harrell, he, he had Terrence Joseph turned all the way around. He made about three different moves. They're called double moves, but what happens when you make three or four? I think they're triple moves down there. Damian Harrell was making on Terrence Joseph, and that's a good call, actually, by the official. Damian Harrell's knee was down. First down and goal at the one-yard line. Give it to the fullback for the touchdown. Touchdown crush, ramming it straight ahead for Colorado. Saw Patu out of Oregon via Tonga. And Patu takes it. The crush up with the game going back and forth, Number getting that stop with the huge. Eligible. Now they add to their lead. Eligible. That's really a well-designed play because you go ahead and take the motion man and then you motion them behind like you're going to go ahead and give it to him off tackle. And then here comes the fullback on nothing but a dive right over center. Really hurt Jermaine misfiring down here that led to the stop and now the crush take advantage of it. Play rush at 6-3, the biggest kicker in the league. Good arm athlete. He drills it. So Colorado adding their lead, their biggest lead tonight, up by 10. Arena Football League action from America West, right here on Fox Sports Net. Ready for a more exciting fantasy football experience? AFL Fantasy Football is back and better than ever. Log on to AFLFantasy.com for a chance to win weekly and season-long cash prizes. More yards. <laughs> More scoring. More excitement. AFL Fantasy Football, powered by Sandbox. Sign up and get in on the action. Hey, did y'all know that Aaron's is having a sale? It's a dandy. They got mm -hmm. fridge, right? Whoa. They got a whole bunch of big mm -hmm. screens. They, they got washers and mm -hmm. dryers. Hey, y'all better get down here fast. No wonder everything's disappearing so fast. Do the math. Aaron's guarantees the lowest prices, like on this high-definition big-screen TV monitor, and you're pre-approved. That's not all. Aaron's has furniture, like these recliners. Hey, the recliner was supposed to disappear, not me. Life not exciting enough for you? Get scratchers from the Arizona Lottery and put some cheer back in your day. <laughs> Play Fabulous Fives. It's the five-star game with a top prize of $55,000. The Arizona Lottery. We got your ticket. The Crush up by 10 on FSN. May the Sports List is the show that counts down the 10 best and worst of anything and everything in sports. Monday night, it's the 10 greatest teen phenoms in sports history. The Sports List with host Summer Sanders, 6 p.m. Monday on FSN. I think David Clyde will be in that group. He played a little football in Texas before playing baseball. Sia Burley had a nice return that was called back earlier tonight. This one. To the five. Stays oh. on his feet and then just melted. That was Hugh Hunter. What a job. That'll totally hurt Sia Burley. That is a great big man laying on him. That's the one thing you don't want is a great big guy laying on you because of gravity. Everything goes down. Not only his weight, but his sweat as well. I mean, it's like everything. You don't want to be underneath a guy's gut who weighs 300 and some pounds. Especially a smart guy. Hunter has a master's degree in psychology from Alaska Anchorage. Offseason, works the real estate business with another uh, AFL player in Nashville, James Barron. Look out, hit from behind. Is it incomplete? They don't say it is. Take it to the end zone for the touchdown for the crush. John Paola, the former Arizona Rattler, rolls into the end zone. And Colorado adds to their lead up by 16. Wow. Well, that's how it happens 
When you have turnovers in this game like that, that's how you lose football games. Coming around the corner of Joe Germain, the ball got knocked out of his hands. It's rolling on the ground, and the defense always has a better chance of recovering a fumble like that because they're looking at the quarterback to begin with. You can see Saul Pato come around and slap the arm, which Lawrence Taylor made famous. The boys from Tonga get it done. Both from Tonga, Patu forces the fumble, recovered, taken to the end zone by John Peaua. The PAT is no good. But those guys are getting it done, and Joe Germain and the Rattlers are now down. And we'll have more on FSN. Job well done, right place, right time. You've been injured and are about to call a lawyer. But do you know how much that lawyer charges? Call Peters and Johnson. We charge less, you keep more. Peters and Johnson. Ruff. If you've been arrested, you need a lawyer. Call Peters and Johnson. Peters and Johnson. 500 returns to Fox. Broadcast in HD this weekend only on Fox. They lurk in the water, waiting for a fight. It's FLW Outdoors, the ultimate challenge in competitive fishing. A season-long tour with prize money worth over seven million dollars get caught in the action emotion and total adrenaline flw outdoors tomorrow on fsn the crush stopping arizona last two possessions here at the desert Valley of the Sun, although a lot of rain here the last couple of days. That'll affect the Colorado Rockies uh, down in Tucson, along with the Arizona Diamondbacks getting ready for spring training. We're indoors here at America West. And Cy Burley getting set to return the kick by Clay Rush. Biggest lead for Colorado. Cy Burley. Nice ankle tackle. Turned in by one of the talented players a little pushing and shoving right now. And Anderson losing the lift. And it's funny, he's down there. Anderson's going at it with Hunky Cooper. Little Hunky Cooper at 5'8", 185 pounds for crying out loud. Matched up with Maurice Anderson at 6'3", 296. And you know what, Kent? That's what you want, though. You've heard me say this before, but I'll, I'll tell you again. You want the other guy to think you're Hannibal Lecter. If you can get him to think you're Hannibal Lecter and, and that you might eat his liver with fava beans and a fine Chianti, <laughs> I'm you have the advantage. If you can make him think that. Size means nothing. Absolutely not. He thinks you are nuts. That is hunky. Bottom of your screen. Jermaine, a screen to Wendell Gaines. Some running room. We can move. Steps over a man, pulls over another. First down inside the 15-yard line. Now I get the fans going in Phoenix. Well, a late flag comes in here because I think Wendell Gaines went ahead and spiked the ball, and I don't know if you can actually do that, Ken. I think that, you know, that sign of emotion right there, spiking the ball, that got the dirty laundry out onto the field, but a well-designed screen pass to Wendell Gaines, and you'll never the see that play like him. Number 89 of the offset spikes the ball. This is sad. That's a five-yard penalty. It'll still be... First down, first and In the ten. league, you can spike it in the end zone as long as the football stays uh, on the field. Different story perhaps here. Wendell just goes ahead and slips out. Hunky Cooper makes a good block, and then he shows his athleticism. This is one of the most athletic defensive offensive linemen you're ever going to want to come across in the Arena Football League. Former tight end, Todd Shell uh, has Wendell Gaines. Gaines was a tight end with the uh, Arizona Cardinals. 
Pass caught by Gatewood. Gatewood sprints for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, that'll bring a smile to Todd Shell's face. Finally, something good actually happens to the Arizona Rattlers. A well-designed, quick little wide receiver screen. Look at the blocking out here. Frank Trenadu gets a block. Sia Burley gets a block. Vince Amy gets a block. Big Wendell Gaines gets a block downfield. That is a perfectly executed wide receiver screen. Now maybe the uh, chirping by uh, Hunky Cooper kind of got the guys going. As he certainly was talking, knowing that this is important possession. The PAT by Anthony Brenner is good. After two stops, Arizona comes roaring back thanks to Wendell Gaines. And Randy Gatewood finds the end zone as Arizona now down by nine. At Jeff Sports, we know that arena football is not a game. Unbelievable! It's a lightning fast. And down, side to side, whiplash-inducing roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Find all the hottest AFL jerseys, caps, shirts, and more at the official athletic retailer of the AFL. Champ Sports, where sport lives. But for now, sit back and enjoy your flight. Store's incredible President's Day sale is on now. Save up to 50% off and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. Save on this seven-piece living room with sofa, love seat, three tables, two lamps, only $9.87. This suede cloth seven-piece living room, only $11.87. Or this designer seven-piece living room, only $13.87 on sale. The huge President's Day sale with 0% interest till President's Day 2009 is on now at the Room Store. At the Room Store. Don't miss it. Colorado's lead is cut to nine. Important possession for Arizona coming back. I think what really hurts, uh, Ron, is the fact that two of Colorado's scores have occurred without the aid of the offense being on the field. The kickoff return, and then, of course, we saw the fumble recovery by Peau into the end zone after the strip by Patu. You know, and coaches really stress that, too. You know what? You've got to play well in all phases of the game if you want to win. you got to play well offensively. you got to play well defensively. And you got to play well in transition, which to me are the special teams. And right now, I think Colorado has truly done that. I think they've played well offensively. I think they've played well in transition. And, of course, on defense, they've come up with some big plays and some big stops. I think Arizona is just starting to get its feet right now. I think Joe Germain is just starting to get a little confidence under his belt right now. And as, as your quarterback goes in this league, so does your team so much of the time. Colorado, two stops of Arizona. The Rattlers have stopped to crush once tonight. That was on the field goal that was made. 50-yarder, Willis Marshall. Hunky Cooper had one crack, a second crack. It's fumbled, but recovered by Willis Marshall. And Cooper got set in the ability to come up with that loose ball. Another flag on the field. Now, Hunky had two cracks at Marshall. Number 14 is the kicking team. That's a five-yard penalty from the end of the run. And sometimes a veteran like Hunky Cooper will just say, you know what, uh, I'm going to push it. I'm going to push that line, try to gain that extra step. When you get a little long in the tooth and you lose that step, you try to use your experience, Chet, to make up for it. Put the ball at the 11-yard line. I told you the lone stop of Colorado resulted in three points. Carroll in motion, bottom of your screen, Dutton finds him. To the near board by Terrence Joseph. Boy, he took a Damian Harrell down there on the field. I mean, he looks like Gumby. <laughs> He's a long, lanky guy. And, and what's bad about it is that Clarence Lawson kind of looks like his, his pony pal Pokey. 
Uh, kind of left behind all the time. Gumby's got the height. Pokey did. Don't bring up the blockheads. Here is uh, the fullback, Keaua, pushing it across for the first down. Downstairs to Kevin McCabe. All right, guys, I'm here in the land of the Giants with Wendell Gaines. Gatewood gets the touchdown, a must touchdown, but you set it all up. You were determined on that. Yes, I was. Uh, let's slow down a little bit. I might score a touchdown myself, but uh, next play was called for Randy, and he got in. That's all what counts. He's got a score. He gets the flag for celebrating all these years in the league. You get no love. You know, it wasn't actually a celebration. I was frustrated. I spiked the ball mad at myself because I didn't score my own touchdown. The ball bounced in the stands, and I get penalized. All right. It's all about getting in the end zone, guys. Dutton finds his receiver across the 20 yard line. Catch hauled in by Andy McCullough. Yeah, if you're going to slam it, just make sure it stays in the field. You know, there's some guys you can actually interview while the game is going on, Kent, <laughs> and there's some guys you cannot. Wendell is one of the guys you can inter uh, interview. Did you see how well spoken he was, how articulate he was? You know, some of the guys down there, they just look at you and go, Die! He's a stockbroker. You got some of that NFL pension money. Well, go to him. Lawson pins uh, McCullough to the board. They're going at it. There's the flag. Yeah. And there's the rock and stock of robot. I mean, Clarence Lawson, known in these parts, a little stone, and McCullough, who's also a tough customer. Now you're going to get that any time, Kent. The object of the game is to put a mouth guard in and then take your head and bury it into another man's sternum and try to knock him down with there force any time you're doing play. that. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 81, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 27. Those penalties will offset, resolve the play, first down. That's fine, although I think uh, the quickness of loss is a little more obvious. Well, you can see that what that is right there is the official first saying, I didn't see who hit the guy first. I just saw them both hit each other, so we might as well be safe and say they offset. We don't like it. Arizona fans. Getting worked up. Colorado's been on top for much of this one after the lead changed hands quite a bit in the first quarter. That looks for Harrell. He's open, makes the grab, touchdown Colorado. I mean, the toughest guy to cover in the AFL, Damian Harrell. And you talked about with the go go gadget like arms, the reach, the speed, and look at this. Now 37 game. 77. Oh. Damian Harrell is truly one of the most talented wide receivers. I, I was talking about him in the first quarter about that big speed, and that's what he gives you down there. He's very, very shifty for a big man. He's got that good speed, but he also can use his size to defeat you. And I don't know if there's another Rattler, uh, another uh, a Rattler that they could put on Damian Harrell because he is so big other than Terrence Joseph. PAT by Clay Rush is good. Colorado. With the touchdown added in their lead. We're in the first half. An important game. Both teams at one and two. And right now, the crush with the lead on the touchdown by Harrell. Bon Jovi. Hellway. What you doing in Vegas, little buddy? We're going to be here for the Arena Bowl this June. You're dreaming. Am I? Why don't we settle this thing right now? Go for it. Drive to Arena Bowl 19 Las Vegas every weekend on Fox Sports Net and NBC. Hit me. Hey, watch this. What? You like bananas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, take it, take it, here. No. <laughs> Crush with the lead, 37-21. Hey, folks, the best damn sports show, period, is the greatest nightly sports show on television. Host Tom Arnold, co-host John Sally, always a lot of fun. The best damn sports show, period. When weeknight, 10.30 only on FSN. They've had some uh, AFL guys in the past on that show. Right now, the Crush with a two-possession lead. Well, that's even a bit generous. Mike Daly's team, they turned it around. The team was 2-14 before Daly arrived expansion year, 
And then last year, Daly joins the team. They go 11 and 5, and one pass away from getting to the arena board. Off the iron, Joseph saves it, tries to. It's Sam Burley. And Burley is punished at about the three. <laughs> Talk about when it hits the iron, you don't know where it's going to go. You say punished. You got that right. And that wasn't about Joe sitting in the corner. Take a, a timeout. That was go ahead and get punished. Sierra like Taylor going out the from woodshed. the five yard line. First down. Arizona will have it at the 10 yard line. And really, they've been playing catch up football for much of this year. Colorado's problem has been they've lost some close games because of uh, kicking. They're kicking, and the opponents doing a nice job. But really, in the American Conference, you really don't want to get yourself saddled with three losses. Joe Germain. Time. Long downfield for Cy Burley. Comes back on the comeback effort, and it's ruled incomplete. Pass under a thrown. Rashad Floyd, the former basketball player, went up with Burley. Well, I think right there it kind of shows Joe Germain's nerves down there on the field. I mean, that that was just not a good throw. There's no other way you can say it. He, he sets up in the pocket and kind of threw that thing, and it just wobbled out there. It, 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 there's no rhythm. There's no timing down there on the field. Sia Burley goes up and tries to make a play on the ball, but Joe struggled on that pass. Early almost had to become a defender against Rashad Floyd. Now second down at 10. Burley in high motion again. Steps up and that's ruled incomplete. It's picked up and taken by McCullough in the end zone. They rule touchdown. Joe Germain said his arm was going forward. There's no instant replay in this league, and that touchdown's going to stand. That's a bad call. That's a bad call right there. His arm was definitely moving forward when he got hit right there and I think that I think that definitely is a bad call by the official they could see a red flag if they had uh, the outdoor uh, rules and it's the replay you got to remember if that arm is going forward at all at all that that is a that is not a fumble that is an incomplete pass third stop of Arizona here in the first half Play rush with the PAT and it is good. The crush. As we get a look at this again. Here's Joe Germain right here. Now watch him as he goes back. Go ahead, guys. He's going to set up in the pocket here. He's going to pump and then double clutch. And right there, you can see that arm is going forward. And that just was a bad call by the officials. That they, they, they just missed it down there. And sometimes they miss it. Right there, you can see it. Right here. Take a look at his arm. Is it going forward at all? Yes, it is. When that ball comes out. Yes, it is. With the naked eye, live, you can see it up here. But uh, oh, yeah, and when I you're guess, scuffling, things don't go your way. Arizona has problems but not being helped right now with that call. Yeah, I guess I'll give him that. Uh, you know, Dennis is down there trying to do the best job he possibly can, although I think he's making way too many announcements, Ken. <laughs> you know, you got some guys trying to do a broadcast here, for crying out loud. He's down there reading the, you know, I don't know what. Well, McCullough, to his credit, picked it up quickly and got in there. And again, with no replay, it stands. And look at that with uh, three sacks, two fumble recoveries for touchdowns. The other, another touchdown scored on the kickoff return. Well, the and crush Arizona have come up. putting themselves in a pretty good sized manhole here. Yeah, the crush have come up with a big play. They've come up with the turnovers. And anytime you're playing the game of football, I'll tell you, it's all about the turnovers. Who protects the ball and who doesn't? And the crush doing a good job taking the crowd out of it. Ball on the slack net and hit part of the what's called the Platinum Club here at America West Arena. That's a local product, Rich Young, who uh, went to high school here in Phoenix at Deer Valley High School, then went to college up at uh, a lot of fan support at Adams State up in Alamoso. And his mom and dad are here, and then came back to go to JC at uh, Glendale. It was a gaucho, and then uh, later at uh, Tulsa University. Certainly a Talented fullback linebacker. Oh, he's a tough guy, too. 
Oh, Rich Young will hit you. He too is like you, well, Ron, is a, sort of somewhat of a philosopher on the football field. Hurley makes the grab and drills from behind by Rashad Floyd. In fact, uh, Rich Young was saying earlier that the ultimate goal for him, and it sounds so much like you, is to split a helmet in half <laughs> with a hit. <laughs> Isn't that you? You, play yeah, the NFL? Yeah. you don't want to hurt someone, you just want to break the helmet. No, but you know what? When you play this game, it's an aggressive game. Here goes Dennis again making that announcement, but I wouldn't mind going ahead. And if the guy was on the ground and a little wheeze came out of him, that was okay because you're playing football. And it, it truly is accepted, folks. It sounds a little violent, but you know what? The game is a little violent. There's, there's no other way you can cut it. Playing, uh, said earlier, with uh, the sore ribs. And already a three sacks this year. Rich Young with the penalty. First down and 10 at the 20 yard line. Arizona down by three possessions. Jermaine has time. Nice cut. Sire Burley makes the grab, gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, what a big throw by Joe Jermaine to keep his team in this game in the first half. If the Rattlers don't take it down and score on that possession, this game's for the most part over. Now all of a sudden, if this conversion is good, you're back within 16 points. That is a huge touchdown by the Arizona Rattlers and a good throw by Joe Germain. Unless Arizona's getting stops at Colorado, they really have no safety net. So these are all important. And Brenner, the former crush kicker, Gets it. Nice touch by Joe Germain. There's not an instrument known to man that could measure how big of a touchdown that was for not only Joe Germain personally, but for the Arizona Rattlers. Now you got the crowd in it, Kent. The guys, he comes out on a cart. They got flags down there on the field. Fireworks are going off. The cheerleaders are getting the crowd all fired up. That's just, that's a big touchdown right there. Joe Germain just setting up strong. This is a good set by him and a great throw. He leads Sia Burley, who's running a bit of a drag route across the field. And Sia is just a player. When he gets the ball in his hands, believe me, there's no turning back. He knows what to do with a football and how to get it into the end zone. Talking with uh, one day will be a coach to AFL, Cedric Bonner. Mike Daly said a Hall of Fame kicker. Before it's all said and done, Let's head downstairs, uh, Kevin McCabe. Well, I got a kicking update here for the Arizona Rattlers. Uh, Anthony Brenner, the kicker who came over from Colorado, he was wincing in the hallway when I walked by him earlier. He's got a sore hamstring. He's going to kick through it. Made the extra point there. Going to be interesting to see how he does here on the kickoff. Of course, he's got a lot on the line here. He was released by Colorado, came in here. Of course, has made a name for himself. And you can see him wincing now, even as he puts the football down. We'll keep an eye on him. If he can continue, the backup kicker, who else? Hunky Cooper, guys? Yeah, he can do it all, number 14. And we Boy. made mention Brenner's kicks uh, have not reached the net. And that's a shame. This guy is so likable. It's been well chronicled. Uh, the situation is a uh, daughter suffers from an undetermined. And at the onside kick, uh, Harold comes up with it. But a, a disorder with his daughter results in frequent seizures. And they have had medical expenses in excess of 200000 Brenner had quit the AFL, but had to get back into the league. More, we'll tell you more about that when we come back. Arizona trailing here as uh, Brenner and Todd Shell's team down toward the end of the first half. I was cooking dinner, and I just fell asleep. I collapsed. I couldn't call for help, but ADT did. They saved my life. An ADT monitored fire detector actually signals ADT so we can call for help. Call now and save over $100 off the regular price when you buy ADT's family package and save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP. ADT, always there. Ready for a more exciting fantasy football experience? AFL Fantasy Football is back and better than ever. Log on to AFLFantasy.com for a chance to win weekly and season-long cash prizes. More yards. More scoring. 
more excitement. <laughs> AFL Fantasy Football, powered by Sandbox. Sign up and get in on the action. The Room Store's incredible President's Day sale is on now. Save up to 50% off and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. Save on this suede cloth sofa, only $3.97. This sleek contemporary sofa, only $4.97. Or this luxurious nail head trimmed sofa, only $5.97 on sale. The huge President's Day sale with 0% interest till President's Day 2009 is on now at the Room Store. At the Room Store. Don't miss it. Brenner quit football and was a soccer coach in Florida, but with the uh, Bills mounting more than $200,000, he went back to the AFL. That so would help to take care of those Bills, and they had a Bailey Bucket Brigade in Denver last year. John Elway helped out. Uh, still a, a concern. The, the, uh, they have two daughters, and uh, John was staying around the bucket talking to fans to get people to contribute money. And now uh, things didn't work out and picked up by the Arizona Rattlers and Brenner kicking against his former team and in some pain as Kevin McCabe told you almost intercepted by Wilson Thomas second down and 10 and if you're a kicker and you have a sore hamstring Ken, that's kind of like being a beaver and having no front teeth now John Travolta uh, gave Brenner a call concerned uh, again with the situation and right now, his thoughts certainly are on uh, this team, but uh, football is secondary in his life, to be sure. Second down. Arizona needs to stop in the worst way. Dutton throws. Slides on the field, taken by Hawkins, but again, movement on the line and contact. And Todd Shell is one fired up individual over there. He's one of the most intense guys in the Arena Football League, Mike Daly's. First and snap, different. encroachment, number 95, defense, unabated. That's a five-bear penalty, remains second out. Ingram comes out, and that's been a real problem this year with Kelvin Ingram. But uh, you, you're right, uh, Todd Shell, that is the opposite of the spectrum. Both very good coaches, but certainly different styles. He's an emotional guy, he's an intense guy. I mean, this guy, he might break down watching the Lion, uh, the Lion King. He might start crying, or he might just take his fist and put it right through the television. He's a very emotional guy. Former AFL Coach of the Year, same award, won earlier by Mike Daly for Colorado. Dutton. Nice effort by Harold with that long reach incomplete. Third down and about five. Well, that's twice now. The Colorado Crush and John Dutton trying to work the weak side of the formation, the weak side of the field on the near board line. They see something they, li they like over there, some type of matchup, but haven't been able to really capitalize. Dutton's numbers have resulted, along with the uh, defense doing a job on two touchdowns, 44 first half points scored by Colorado, they're looking for more. NFL timing rules in effect, less than a minute to go in the half. Harrell in motion. Dutton's pass, incomplete, deflect on the line of scrimmage. Good work by Wendell Gaines. He got a piece of it. Oh, that's a big weapon also in the Arena Football League that not enough guys talk about just getting your hands up. Look, if you can't beat him, I talked about it earlier, you don't necessarily have to sack the quarterback to be a great pass rusher in this league, and Wendell is one of the better ones. You can go ahead and get your hands up and knock it down. You can harass him, make it throw it quicker, whatever it may be. There are ways to get pressure on a quarterback other than just a flat-out sack. About a 29-yard attempt for Clay Rush. This would constitute the second time Colorado's been stopped, whether he makes it or not. It has the distance, and the kick is good. He has been solid. So the crush add into their lead. Well, that guy is good, isn't he? Now you like him, the fact that he's not afraid to make a tackle either. I mean, look at that face mask, too. I mean, that is, see that? That's the gazoo face mask right there, Cat. That's when you know you're a kicker. You go ahead and you don't make a lot of tackles, so you you put the kazoo face mask on right there. He was with Daly at uh, Indiana. Did a great job with the touchbacks this year, but the struggle last week miss, missing a 26-yarder, but gets this one. You see he's got no knee pads. 
He's got no tackling skills whatsoever. Wait a minute now. He's got some size. And he's got no <laughs> skills whatsoever. Because he's a kicker. All right, he's I a understand. kicker, but you know what? He's a doggone good one. I'll tell you that much. That guy can take that ball and kick it through those, those uprights. Daly has brought over quite a few players that are with him, not just in Indiana, but when he was the head coach at uh, Albany. And for Daly, he said things worked out. He was uh, shot, actually shot in, in a robbery, and his playing days were over. Someone asked uh, his dad if he'd want to coach, and he got into it, and things worked out, and has become uh, one of the more <laughs> highly regarded coaches in the AFL. Yeah, yeah that's, that's working out right there. He coached at uh, Montgomery Junior College just outside Washington, D.C., and you can take a look. Uh, there's one. There's two, Ken. There's three. Those are head coaches. And there's Brent Winter. I mean, that's that's like coming out of Canton, Ohio, for crying out loud. That's like the Bill Walsh deal right there out of Stanford. When you look at Bill Walsh and the West Coast offense and how many guys he put out onto the field. John Elway knew after the first year they needed someone who knew the league inside and out because it's a different game. And they had a, a, a former scout with the Denver Broncos to coach the team the first year and they struggled. They went out and got good players. And John knows it's not over even though it's a pretty sizable lead for Colorado. We still have a half to go. And this is where the uh, fun really begins with uh, 46 seconds to go in the half. A lot of points can be scored in the last minute of a half of the AFL game. And here's the onside kick. It goes to 10 yards, covered by Wendell Game. Well, I like the strategy out of Mike Daly right there. Why not? Go ahead. And that's a little bump kick there, Kent. That's where you just try to bump that thing. And then this mass of humanity comes running up behind you and tries to separate your teeth from your head. See how that works? You just run up and try to separate the teeth from the other guy, and then hopefully your kicker falls on it. But a good play, heads-up play by Wendell Gaines to fall on it. But I like the strategy. You got nothing to lose. If you get the ball, this game could be over. But if they score, you're still going to get a shot yourself. Rattlers will manage the uh, clock right now. Pass thrown. Burley makes the grab in the end zone for the touchdown. Officials yet to rule touchdown. Now they do. Touchdown, Arizona. Yeah. See. That's growth right there out of Joe Germain as a young quarterback. Remember in that first quarter? Remember that fourth down play? He overthrew Sia Burley running the exact same route, a corner route, and did not give him a chance to make a play on the ball. Joe Germain comes right back here, runs the exact same route to the exact same player, and this time allows Sia Burley to make a play on the ball. In this league, sometimes you can get cute in the closing minute of play and take your time scoring. Rattlers have scuffled in that area, so they don't want to take any chances, get the touchdown, and see if they can get a stop of Colorado here with uh, 38 seconds left in the half. Well, well, this is the way you go about your business. I mean, you know, this is all clock management, something that Mike Daly is truly a master of. Let's take a look at this touch pass right here. Sia Burley lines up in the slot. A slot. You got Randy Gatewood underneath. He runs the corner. Look at that. That wasn't bad coverage back there by the Colorado Crush. It was just a great throw and a great play on the ball by Sia Burley. Sometimes you can blanket a guy, Kent. You can be absolutely all over the guy. And a good throw will always beat great coverage. Tip your hat to uh, Joe Germain as Arizona has closed the gap. Down to two possessions. You can look at that. Joe's gaining some confidence. You know, you got Cedric Bonner coming by, maybe the Hall of Fame quarterback, quintessential quarterback in the Arena Football League, walking up to you going, hey, kid, nice, hey, that's the way. Hey, that's a way to do it, kid. You know, all of a sudden you see yourself do well. You experience success on the field. You can grow by leaps and bounds from one quarter to the next as long as you experience some success. Jermaine didn't know he'd be the starting quarterback until Thursday. I'm on the Hawkins return. Onside kick in this little pooch job is taken by Harold and Wendell Gaines as he goes down near midfield with 34 seconds remaining. See, he's 
Anthony Brenner's hurting. I mean, that's they that's what that is. Visibly right now, yeah. Yeah, he's he's really hurting right now, and I don't know the Arizona Rattlers. I, I don't think we'll see a kick or a field goal attempt for the entire game. I think that's done with. I think fourth down rolls around. You got to go for it. Or if you're backed up on your own inside your own five or ten, you might as well just bring Hunky out and hope it doesn't yeah. get blocked. Hunky kicked last year for Arizona. Dutton will send McKenzie in high motion. Harrell makes the grab, dances at the far board line. Not much there with 29 seconds remaining. We said before, it's like musical chairs whoop. The music's going, and all of a sudden they pull a chair out, and the goal is when it's all set and done the half end, you've just scored, and they don't have another chance. You had the last possession of the half. Yeah, and that's that's. That's what Mike Daly is trying to do is manage the last few seconds of this game, of this half, I should say, and do it where they end up with a football. Todd Shell would acknowledge that the Daly is the master at that. Pass thrown for Harrell and overthrown. Well, Wendell King to dump the quarterback Dutton and a flag down at the 15 yard line. A late flag. Boy, that was late, too. I mean, anytime the ball hits the carpet before a flag, that's really late. Illegal for the most defense, part. number 91, outside rush. That's a five yard penalty with an automatic first down. And Kia Adderson. Well, you can't rush outside the box, Nikia Adderson playing some type of Mac backer. You can't do that. You've got to you've got to rush. He's right here. Nikia's right here. Watch him. You've got to rush in between both ends. Look at Wendell Gaines come down on that pinch move right there. And then outside comes Nikia Adderson. Folks, you can't do that. That's cheating in the AFL. 25 seconds left in the half. McKenzie in high motion. Dutton screen and incomplete. Trying to make the grab at the 15 yard line. And uh, unable to handle it. Well, this would be just an absolutely huge stand for the Arizona Rattlers to get within 12 and to be able to come up with a stop right here. Just huge. Shaw couldn't come up with it. Todd Shell's team is down by two possessions. And that includes a couple of uh, two-point conversions. Duck. Harrell's off again. Dutton throws. Hawkins oh. hit hard. Stays on his feet. Angle tackled by Lawson. What a hit delivered by Wilson Thomas. Arizona wants a timeout with 15 seconds remaining. Hawkins took a shot right there. Clarence Lawson came up. Buried his cage right in the sternum, and that's the way you want to do it, kids. You want to keep that head up like that. The only thing Clarence Lawson forgot to do was to wrap the arms. Little check down by John Dutton over there. Look at that. There's a shot right there, and Clarence Lawson stays with it. But you got to keep your head up, and you got to wrap your arms. You can't tackle good running backs or wide receivers by just coming up trying to block them to the ground, Kent. It'll never work. You got to wrap the arm and then drag the legs and down they go. Todd Shell reinforcing the importance of this on a third down and short. And for Arizona, knowing they get the ball to begin the second half, a stop here at the first half would be huge. Huge. Colorado on top by 12. Third down and two. Touched on, can't hold on to it. Harold dropped it in the end zone. He was wide open. Going a little behind, but still most definitely catchable. And they're going to go ahead and settle for three. What a huge stop by the Arizona Rattlers, but at the same time, a huge mistake by the crush. Damian Harold with an unbelievable move on that move by Damian Harold, and yet he drops the ball. That's just, that's never a good thing. 23-yard field goal attempt. He's made two earlier here in the first half play rush. This would make it a three-possession lead, and it is good. So Todd Shell's team will have nine seconds to work with. And then by 
15. Man. Colorado scored a lot of points, Kevin. Yeah. We're talking about a half now. Again, the defense came up with two, and then the kickoff return for the touchdown. I don't know if I've ever seen those numbers up there. Yeah, for a half. We talked about math. It is now. It's a two-possession lead now. But Arizona, see what they can muster up with. I mean, typically, when you look at it, you, you say to yourself, hey, we've scored 35 points in this half. You're thinking, you know what? Hey, that's on pace for 70. And 70 will lead the league every every year. If you scored 70 points a game, that you, boy, you got to be feeling like we're blowing it up offensively. And then you look at that other number, the number right here for the crush, and uh, that's scary. 50. Well, that's 85 between the two teams. 98 is a record for two teams and a half. But again, uh, Colorado taking advantage. When they have stopped Arizona, it's translated to 14 points for Colorado. When Arizona has stopped Colorado three times in the first half, it results in nine points for the crush. So it's not been a good exchange from Arizona's standpoint. But they do get the ball to begin the second half. Five, Burley. Up to the five. Burley dropped oh. immediately. And runs into a brick wall. And <laughs> that's a brick wall in the name of Brian Shaw, who's had a solid first half. Yeah, Brian Shaw is one of those guys that runs and stuff moves on him. <laughs> you got some guys they run and stuff doesn't move on them. And then you got the big guys who run and stuff moves all over the place. And Brian Shaw is one of those guys. But he looks like he's in pretty good shape down there. He made a great athletic open field tackle on that last play. Fourth year player in the AFL out of Mississippi College. Cy Burley in motion. Dumps it off left left. This is Gaywood. Breaks the tackle and gets the first down. Bubbles the football recovered by Colorado. Another takeaway for the crush. Although the first half comes to an end. Meanwhile, the little extra pushing and shoving. Wilson Thomas and Amata Hawkins getting into it. And Cedric Bonner, knowing that Arizona has a lot of work to do in the second half. The crush, pretty impressive, both offensively and defensively. Downstairs to Kevin McCabe. All right, I'm with Coach Mike Daly. Mike, uh, I hate to be the naysayer, but you build the big lead offensively. But just before the half, you just get a couple of field goals. Are you concerned at all with the offense? Well, no, it's it's kind of a strategy of the game, that last one there, because if you give them the ball with 48 seconds, they burn all the clock, they get seven, we get nothing. We give them the short field, play give up defense, they get seven, we at least get three. It's a four-point differential. Yeah, you still score 50 points. Your defense gets a couple of big plays in the first half. You're happy with what they're doing? Yeah, we've made a couple of plays on defense, particularly our defensive front. All right, keep it going in the second half. Let's go back upstairs, guys. All right, thank you, Kevin. Arizona is down by 15 to the crush. Mike Daly's team, again, with the stops and two touchdowns on fumble recoveries. And Arizona work to do. Crush looking pretty sharp here in the first half. Snake Man enjoying some of it. Back after this on FSM. Soldiers. Welcome back to Aaron's halftime report. America West Arena, downtown Phoenix. As we move inside where the Arizona Rattlers and the Colorado Crush get together and the Crush, John Elway's team off to a good start. Uh, Elway saying earlier how uh, his dad uh, told him a long time ago when he argued with the ref, he benched him for five games. He learned football the hard way and the Hall of Fame quarterback is standing by downstairs with Kevin McCabe. Quarterback, CEO, and owner of the Colorado Crush and also a star of stage and screen now, John Elway. Shooting the promotional commercials for the AFL. Uh, how much fun was that hanging out with Bon Jovi? You know, John's a great guy. It's always fun to hang around him. And, uh, you know, they do such a great job with those commercials. And they're, they're so fun to do that. Uh, they, and it turned out great. I love the way that turned out. So it was a lot of fun to do. Now they've got the music cranked up in here. Are you a Bon Jovi fan? Or your kids, do they, they, they love his music? You know, they do. And uh, actually, not my kids. He's more my era than my <laughs> And mine, too. And my, than my kids. So uh, I think I know a lot more about Bon Jovi than my kids do. Let's talk AFL football. You're Colorado Crush. You're off to a rough start this year would you still like to make up for this team what they expect of them you know i really do i think that uh, you know we've been close and really feel that we do have a good team it's basically the same team we had last year with a year of experience and we were really able to get to the semis and until we lost the rattlers down here but uh you know we're just we're not hitting on all cylinders right now and 
you know, we got we got to get it back on track. Last week we lost a tough one, lost the first tough one the first week against Orlando. So I think we've got the ability. It's just a matter of putting it all together, and and so that's why we're not too discouraged. We got a long way to go, and you know, and it starts here tonight. We've got to, We've got to get this one tonight. Everybody knows successful as a quarterback, successful in business with the car dealerships. Did you take the same things from that into the AFL now as, as part of the ownership group here? Yeah, no question. I think that, uh, you know, the AFL has been around for, long, around for a long time. I think the people that are getting involved now are really, uh, you know, quality people and really giving the league some, you know, some, um, uh, what am I thinking, the, uh, some quality people that are involved. And so, I mean, we're very fortunate. We just want to continue to grow the league. NBC being involved with Fox being involved, um, <laughs> you know, is, is, is huge. And so it's, it's getting the game out to people to see it. And so then they can come down and watch that arena. Now the big final question. We know how great a quarterback you were. Could you have been you know, a great baseball player, pretty good golfer, could you have been a quarterback and a star quarterback in the AFL? You know, it looks like it's been a lot of fun to play. I'm not sure I had the touch to play in this league. That would, you know, that if anything, it probably would have helped me if I'd have played this early in my career. To, to, because it took me a long time to develop some, some touch, and you have to really be able to throw it with a lot of touch in this league. So, I'm not sure that I would have been very good early, but uh, hopefully would have been able to, to uh, you know adjust and have some touch. All right, John Elway, you know you would have been a winner. The guy is so passionate about the game. We wanted to catch up with him during the game, but he gets way too fired up. He didn't want to take time. So that's it. John Elway, CEO, owner, star football player, and passionate about the AFL. We've got more coming your way. Second half action from Phoenix. Stay with us. Super Chevy prices. Super Chevy selection can only mean one thing. The new Superstition Springs Brown and Brown Chevrolet. And we've got new Chevys from $79.95. And a super selection of pre-owned vehicles from $19.95. We put the customer first right here in the Super East Valley. Get a Super Chevy deal at the new Superstition Springs Brown and Brown Chevrolet. U.S. 60 at Superstition Springs Boulevard across from the mall. Looking for the ultimate deal on a new Toyota? You need to get to Superstition Springs Toyota for our big presidential power sale. Get monumental savings on every new Toyota in stock. New 05 Camrys or Tundras, your choice for only $199 a month. New 05 Toyota Tacomas or Corollas, your choice, just $99 a month. There is not a better deal in town, right, Rudy? The presidential power sale all month long at Superstition Springs Toyota. U.S. 60 exit Superstition Springs, 480-807-9700. Next week on the best damn sports show, period. Carol Owens takes us behind the scenes and up close with the stars at the NBA's All-Star Weekend. And Leanne Tweeten gets an all-access pass to the Daytona 500. Plus the legendary John King defending Nextel Cup Series champ Kurt Busch on Daytona. And actor Steve Harris on the mad black woman in his life. Next week at 8.30 and 10.30. ACC Basketball on FSN. Top 10 powers collide as Duke looks to even the season series with Tobacco Road rival Wake Forest. ACC Sunday Night Hoops tomorrow on FSN. Tonight on your Arizona Sports Report. We're all over the Suns on All-Star Saturday. JJ and Q shoot for three while Amari tries to tear down the rim. On your Arizona Sports Report after the game. And welcome back to the Aaron's Halftime Report. Downtown Phoenix on this Saturday night, known as the Snake Pit, where the Colorado Crush leading the Arizona Rattlers 50 to 35. Entertaining first half, well, you get 85 points, uh, and especially when you get some of the points via the defense. I think, I think basically, Kent, some of the, the key players in that first half was Saul Patu for the Colorado Press scoring a touchdown and look at his play coming around the corner slapping that ball out and then all of a sudden John Payaua falls on the ball and it's a touchdown for the crush on the other side of that I think when you look at the Arizona Rattlers I think Sia Burley is the guy that probably has done the most damage uh, to the Colorado Crush from the Arizona Rattlers. Joe Germain has thrown three touchdowns to Sia Burley. He's the guy giving the Colorado Crush all sorts of headaches. Give a little headache right here as well coming into the corner. It's tough to think if they didn't have Burley out there where Arizona would be. Right now they are down and down by 15. We'll have more from America West Arena in a moment. FSN.
not be afraid of the dark. I will not feel guilty leaving my dog alone. I will know my children are safe. I will finally be able to relax! A single ADT system can help protect your home and family from burglary, fire, and carbon monoxide. Call now and save over $100 off the regular price when you buy ADT's family package. Plus, save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP. ADT. Always there. The Room Store's incredible President's Day sale is on now. Save up to 50% off and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. Save on this oversized leather match sofa in your choice of taupe or bone, only $5.97. Or this eight-way hand-tied 100% leather sofa in cafe or black, only $8.97. On sale. The huge President's Day sale with 0% interest till President's Day 2009 is on now at The Room Store. At The Room Store. Don't miss it. And welcome back to the Aaron's Halftime Report with Ron Wolfley. This is Cantor Devonis back at America West Arena. And Wolf, we talk about uh, why you have 85 points scored. It's all about stops. And quite early, we've seen uh, the stops, three huge ones for Colorado. It really is. You know, you can look at all the stats that you want to, and you get, you know, first downs and yards rushing and yards receiving and, and the quarterback rating and all of those things. But it really comes down to your possessions and how many stops you came up with stopping the opponent and how many times you held possession or or held serve to use a tennis analogy and then you went ahead and you scored a touchdown yourself turnovers are huge and we pointed out that Arizona had three in the first half and also the possessions Arizona does get the ball to begin the second half but penalties did not help the Arizona cause either yeah I think basically you look at the sacks and you look at the turnovers and those are the keys Getting ready for the second half. Stay with us, folks. Arena Football League action right after this on FSN. But for now, sit back and enjoy your flight. little buddy we're gonna be here for the arena bowl this june you're dreaming am i why don't we settle this thing right now go for it championship game arena bowl 19 is playing vegas for tickets call 1-866 afl ticks today get a full access pass into the cactus league host todd walsh explores everything that makes spring training hot plus hit the irresistible arizona night spots with the best damn sports show gary it's lee and tweeting inside the cactus league premieres sunday february 27th at 10 on fsn one novice bike builder. Here's the deal. In the ultimate challenge. You do a great job, you do a bike. Build a custom iron horse in 30 days. Ah! Build or bust. I shouldn't have to explain that. Premieres next week on Speed Channel. On an all-new Beyond the Glory, Mike Krzyzewski had a mission to resurrect Duke basketball. It's difficult because we are one of the two worst teams. But his early years were marked by turmoil. There was very real concern that he might be fired. And as the pressures of the job reached a boiling point... He was just killing himself, and it was tough on our family. He rebounded to create a collegiate dynasty. I have a tremendous respect for what Mike has done. Mike Krzyzewski, Beyond the Glory, Sunday on FSN by the Arena Football League for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the AFL's consent is strictly prohibited. America West Arena getting set for the second half with the crush leading 50 to 35. Downstairs, Kevin McCabe standing by with Rattler's coach, Todd Schell. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'm downstairs here with Todd Schell. You get a 50 hung on you in the first half. You give them a couple of plays offensively, they score on the defense. What was the message? Well, just we've got we have an opportunity now. We get the ball, we can come out and make this an eight-point game. So we're right back in. If we can take the ball down now, get puts us in a situation, we can go back playing defense like we wanted to in the first half. 
Anthony Brenner hurting a little bit. Does that concern you? Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of a hamstring. The bigger concern is Kerry Taylor. We lost him in the first part of the game there. And Frank Trinidad has a pulled hamstring. So right now we've got Nakia Addison playing the backup fullback spot. And, you know, we gave up a, one of the hits on the quarterback was at that spot. So we just got to come out and make some plays. That's what the name of the game is. All right, thanks a lot, Todd. Best of luck in the second half, guys. All right, thank you, uh, Kevin. There's uh, Randy Gatewood getting set along with his team back to receive Cy Burley with Ron Wolfley, Kentner Devonis, America West Arena, the Crush, and the Rattlers, both at uh, one and two. And we talk about uh, important possessions for Arizona. This is the most important one to begin the second half. Cy Burley, low off the net. Brought down as he crosses the 10 yard line. Tackle by Hunter. I'm so impressed with Clay Rush and all of the kicks that he has. I mean, sometimes, Kent, you'll see that, and he's trying to put it off high off the screen. Of course, they're trying to hit the iron as much as they possibly can, but he can put it high, he can put it low, he can hit that iron. I mean, Clay Rush truly is one of the most talented kickers in the arena football league. Coming off the rough outing last week, but he has been solid here tonight. Joe Germain, former Ohio State quarterback. He's got some time and a comeback effort made. And a flag. Tom Pace makes the reception. McKenzie the tackle. You heard Todd Shelf tell Kevin McCabe earlier, uh, Arizona uh, banged up, but uh, that's all part of football, and you just got to fight through it somehow. Interesting. Kevin McKenzie actually Pace playing. On the defense, five yards. Result of the five-yard penalty, first down. McKenzie actually playing DB on that play. He's typically a Jack linebacker. I was visiting with Randy Gatewood, the two-way star for the Arizona Rattlers, the Iron Man for the Rattlers for the most part. And he was talking about McKenzie, and he said it's kind of hard to compare him with what I do, only because he's typically playing Jack backer, and there he is again. Gatewood will be in high motion. I believe it's Rashad Floyd on Gatewood. Jermaine instead goes to an open Tom Pace, who's cut down near the 15 by Hughley. Have some great protection, and it all starts with protection. You've got to control the line of scrimmage. I don't care what league you're playing in. I don't care how many downs you have. I don't care about that. You've got to protect your quarterback. Watch Frank Turner do the fullback come right up, and mano a mano stick his head right in there on a Colorado crush nose guard and I'll tell you what that takes an awful lot of courage folks you know to, to go ahead and take your nose and stick it into a man the size of Saturn's third moon that's tough tough guy uh, Frank Trinidou as Burley goes in high motion Trinidou blocking Jermaine throws caught by Gatewood get her bus his way down to the seven you're talking about Trinidou he's the Arizona Rattler who was in the uh, the homeless camp you see Frank uh, as he was playing a uh, lower classification AF2, and he would just happen to have a job, but to support the family, he had to live at a Salvation Army shelter before things worked out, get the opportunity here. Gene Nudo, another Chicagoan, uh, gives him a chance to play, and he has made uh, great strides here in the AFL. And you can see that horse collar Frank wears right there, too. That's a cowboy collar, and I guarantee you, when you play fullback linebacker in this sport, you put every pad known to man on you. Well, he's out there with the injury to Taylor. Hayes is belted by Rich Young in the backfield. And he was in there almost the moment the ball was taken. Well, saw Pop 2. See the Pop 2? Yeah. Have a day. You want to talk about coming out here playing. I don't, I don't know if his Ann Edna's sitting up there in the stands. I have no idea. But saw Pop 2 has come to play. He was on a jet move. That is a predetermined pinch move by the defensive end. And he read the down block by the guard and came right off his butt. That's just a great play by Saul Patu. He had a touchdown run. Patu also had a uh, strip that led to another touchdown for Colorado. Jermaine on third down. Caught for the first down. Does he get in? He's going to be short of the goal line. Randy Gatewood. But they do get a first down. Well, a great throw by Joe Germain. Good protection once again. Joe Germain looks much more confident here in this second half than he did early. You can see the protection right there. Slide protection from the Rattlers, and Randy Gatewood goes head first right into the boards. 
That's one of the charms, I think, of the Arena Football League, the fact that the boards can. Uh, I mean, you know, you go ahead and you used to play football in your backyard. Off the it car? Was, yeah. It was 3rd Street versus 4th Street. You went out there, and, of course, the tree was in play. <laughs> the tree was in play. Well, so are the boards. Tom Pace in motion, first and goal. Pace will take it. Chugging and churning, driving, oh. but uh, he does not get in. Second down and goal from near the one-yard line. See, rugby that's, strong, a rugby scrum and two. That's that pile right there. See, that's the dreaded pile. Now, bad pile. things are happen happening down there at the bottom? Well, you don't want to be here. So you don't want to be Saul Patu, who just got up, and you certainly don't want to be Dustin Barno, who just got off the ground. The last man who gets off the ground typically has the most stuff on him. Not his stuff. Oh, no. no. And believe me, you're down at the bottom of that pile. You, you Ben Gay drips down. Uh, you sweat, of course, and some other unsavories as well, Ken. You don't want to be on the bottom of that thing. You want to be on top. <laughs> Made it clear. Guard eligible, Wendell Gaines. Here's second down. Jermaine will keep it himself and pushes it across for the Arizona touchdown. That's a very impressive drive from Joe Germain and the Arizona Rattlers here to start this second half. That's exactly the way you want to be able to start it. And they go with the oldest play known to man, the oldest play, the very first play that was ever drawn up when somebody said, hey, what do you say? You line up, and I'll line up, and we'll try to knock each other off the ball. Let's play football. We'll call it that. Okay, well, let's draw this play. The quarterback sneaks. Snap it, and I'll just go right off your butt. Simple and clean. PAT is good. Arizona blows it to a one-possession deficit in this important Arena Football League matchup. Joe Germain and the Arizona Rattlers against the Crush of Colorado. The greatest source of America's generosity is the good heart of the people. In the aftermath of the devastating tsunami, we come to you not as presidents, but as two private citizens. Everyone can help, and every dollar contributed will impact someone's life. So visit USAFreedomCorps.gov to choose a reputable, authorized charity to accept your donations directly. No one can change what happened. But we can all change what happens next. Thank you. Thank you. not exciting enough for you? Play Scratchers from the Arizona Lottery and get ready for some real fun. Wait till everybody at work hears about this! Yeah! Woo! Can you run the table, play five games, and win up to $100,000? The Arizona Lottery, we got your ticket. I'm not sure a balloon makes a great uh, face mask, but uh, fans here at America West where the crush with the lead. And a quick reminder, Sunday, that's tomorrow, you can catch the AFL and NBC. Two big games, the Philadelphia Soul take on New Orleans to face the Voodoo. And you can also watch a game involving uh, some American conference teams. And that's San Jose and Los Angeles. Check your local listings for the game times in your area. Boy, that balloon, that took a lot to do right there. That's when you know, that's when you don't know if you really want to be a football player and <laughs> you don't know if you really want to be here or joining the chess club. And you start tying the balloon up there. Well, like Colorado, the atmosphere in the Phoenix is among the best in the league. Colorado averaging about 16,000 fans. Arizona has always done terrific with the support they have from their fans. Bobbled. Hawkins. Fumbles the football taken by Arizona for the touchdown. Randy Gatewood. That play was made by Hunky Cooper. A certain, a shoe-in for the Hall of Fame. A guy that has done more for this game probably than maybe any other player. A guy that has the all-time, all-purpose yard record 
for the Arena Football League, and yet his heart, his soul, his leadership, you watch this play, he goes down and makes it. You saw his wife with the denim jacket uh, cheering him on. So Hunky with the hit, and a human torpedo, and then Randy Gay with the fumble recovery, just like that, Arizona's back in this one. See, right now, the Colorado Crush, they think Hunky Cooper right here, they think he's going to eat their liver with fava beans and a fine candy because they're sure that he is Hannibal Lecter. Look at that. That is an unbelievable play by an experienced guy, Hunky Cooper, probably the best still, even now, after 12 years in the Arena Football League, this guy is still the best. And Pat Hayden saying that uh, he's never seen anybody in all of the year years in football that has uh, played with the, the passion that Hunky has. And even though he doesn't have the quickness he enjoyed in previous years, you know, he knew he had to do something to fire the team up. And that human torpedo knocks the ball loose. And Arizona is down by a single point. See, this guy's like, right now, he's like, seriously, where's that 14 guy? Yeah, hey, you know, you're going to cross yourself right there. And, might bring out the little rattlesnake rattle. You know, might, what, what is that? What are those fumers that the priests come out and they start fuming at you? You might want to do that because this guy, Punky Cooper, is fired up. He has willed his team back into this ball game right now. It's a clean stop and a touchdown for Arizona. And this will be a touchback. Got the photographer behind the end line. And Hawkins would rather hit uh, that Manol to camera than hit number 14. You know, Hunky doesn't sound like a, a threatening name. You know, you just, Hunky, it rhymes with Chunky. And, you know, you, you just don't think about that guy in, as a threatening way when he's as small as he is. But let me tell you, you're looking at a warrior right there. Well, they couldn't pronounce the name Hernandez, but somehow Hunky came out of it, and he was Hunky, <laughs> one of the best in the AFL. But Arizona will need another stop as Dutton has been very effective. Harrell in motion. McKenzie thrown back behind the line of scrimmage after catching it. Wendell Gaines, Randy Gaywood, Hunky Cooper down there. Quick reminder, ACC Sunday Night Hoops returns with a showdown of conference rivals and national contenders. The fifth-ranked Wake Forest takes on number seven, Duke. Coverage begins tomorrow, 4.30 Mountain Time, right here on FSN. Happy you've joined us on FSN, AFL football this Saturday night. Colorado was in control, and now momentum is clearly swung in Arizona's favor. Down by one. Second and 13. That's enough for the first down. Watch McKenzie brought down by Randy Gatewood. That's a pickup of 18. Well, McKenzie may be the best two-way player for the Colorado Crush, which qualifies him as an Ironman. You got to be a guy that goes both ways to be able to be an Iron Man. And that matchup we talked about earlier in the broadcast with Randy Gaywood and McKenzie one on one. There it was. No huddle. Midway through the third quarter, a one point game. Got hit at the last moment by Trinidad, who gets the pass off and almost picked off. Incomplete. Good try by Gatewood. Intended for Willis Marshall, and Trinidad just got to the quarterback and got Dutton pretty good. Well, you can just see the body language of the Arizona Rattlers right now has just shot through the ceiling. You know, one play by one little guy running down the field could turn the course of this game. He lifts his teammates up. There is no, no instrument you could use to measure what a guy like Hunky Cooper brings to the table. Here comes the pressure on Dutton. The pass is off. Diving catch, but now to hold on to Willis Marshall. Coverage by Clarence Lawson. Third down and 10. And the fans, who haven't had a whole lot to cheer about, certainly worked up right now in Phoenix. Well, the Colorado Crush were just trying to go ahead and run a post corner option on Clarence Lawson, who was playing in the middle of the field that time giving Marshall the option of taking that post or taking that corner. He took the post. Clarence Lawson, I think, fell on him, and him falling on him right at the end while he was trying to secure that ball made that thing come out. One-point lead for Colorado. Harrow in motion. 
picked up by Terrence Joseph, and the play is blown dead. A procedure penalty against Colorado. Bird to the snap, false start, number 22, offense. That's a five-year penalty, remains third down. Boy, that's probably the worst thing that could happen here on a third down because now the fans think, hey, I can make a difference in this game. You know, if I get louder, those guys will get goosier, and the louder I get, the goosier will get, and they'll jump off sides. Third down and 15. The shade of magenta. One of the Rattler fans down below. Dutton gets the pass off. It's incomplete. And flag Gatewood. It might have been unintentional. Tripped up with Harrell, or perhaps a little bit of acting on Randy's part. I'm not sure uh, Harrell comes up with that if Gatewood doesn't uh, flip him with his feet. Well, that's, uh, I think Todd Shell's arguing that that was an uncatchable ball. Pass interference, number 17 of the defense. That's a 10 yard penalty with an automatic first down. So instead of fourth down and 15, back at their own 15 yard line, they get the first down. The Rattlers go and play cover two, which is too high. Randy Gatewood closing on the post, and it looked like his feet got caught up. I think it's probably a good call by the official thrown by the back judge. He's standing right there for that play, and that play only. Joe Duncan, these games normally officiated very well. There's been one call that did not go Todd Shell's way, to be sure, earlier. It resulted in a touchdown for Colorado, and incomplete. Marshall can't hang on to it. Again, another skidding effort. Second down and 10. And Marshall's got to catch that ball. That's all there is to it. And Clarence Lawson is giving Marshall way too much of a cushion. Clarence Lawson is off of Marshall probably 10, 12 yards. Even when the ball is thrown, he seems to be breaking on it late. And it's because he's been beat earlier in the game with that same route. Crush led by 23 points earlier tonight. They lead by one. Open. It's caught by Marshall. Belt it stays on his feet. It has the first down. Down to about the six-yard line. Well, you make a big play like Marshall just did, it will cover a multitude of sins, I can guarantee yeah. you. 17-yard pickup. Marshall's going to run the drag underneath. They use Damian Harrell to clear the zone out. But look at Terrence Joseph come up and hunky Cooper. Talk about bodies hitting the floor. Marshall back after a tryout with the Denver Broncos. Hunky Cooper pass thrown, intercepted, taken by Terrence Joseph for the touchback. No flags on the field. Well, the crush convinced there should be a flag. Dutton doesn't know. That was the exact same play that Damian Harrell just schooled Terrence Joseph earlier in the game. And they come right back to it, only this time Damian Harrell looks like he's trying to get the inside and then goes out. John Elway can't be too happy. His team has now been stopped five times. Rattlers are down by one on FSN. In competition, injuries happen. It's part of the game. And to get back your level of performance takes a lot of hard work, discipline, and the best health care. Health South is the nation's leading provider of outpatient diagnostic, surgery, and rehabilitation services. So we can help you get back fast to the action, the competition, and the glory. We know your body. We understand your spirit. We get you back. Thank you for calling ADT Security Services. I just wanted you to know, that security system saved me twice. You all have given me peace of mind. I tell everybody I see, get an ADT security system. Like these customers and millions more, you'll feel more secure with ADT in your home. ADT helps protect your family from burglary, fire, and carbon monoxide. Call now and save over $100 off the regular price when you buy ADT's family package. And you may save up to 20% off your homeowner's insurance. ADT, always there. I tried to pay all my creditors. I wanted to do the right thing, only I didn't know what to do. I saw an ad for Phillips & Associates and I called them. That was the best thing I could have done. They took my bankruptcy case the same day. The creditors have stopped and I now have the fresh start I wanted. I would recommend Phillips & Associates to anyone. Little or no upfront fees to begin your bankruptcy case. 
Call us right now, 602-258-8888. Watch Damian Harrell right here. He's going to come down, make a hard outside move, come inside, and then come back out here on Terrence Joseph. And Joseph is going to get a jam on him right there with the right arm. And then it looks like he pulls his jersey a little bit and then makes a play on the ball. And the official looked to me, the back judge, like he was going to go pull for it. And then he said, no, I think that was a clean play. I think there was some holding on that play. Joseph got away with one. Let him play, they say. Arizona with the football, taken near borderline of the 10-yard line. So the crush, their last four possessions, they have been stopped four times. And this is a huge one. Arizona back in a position. They have the ball, and they're down only by one. That's remarkable when you consider they were down by 23 points earlier. I, I think Steinbeck would probably say, you know, the best laid plans of mice and men. I think Colorado Crush had, had this game, what they thought maybe was sewn up. They had all the momentum, and you just don't stop a team four times in a row in this league. And look, it's about the defense. The uh, Hunky Cooper hit the Gatewood recovery. Jermaine gets it off. Burley has his man beat, but he's overthrown. And then, of course, the last play, the interception by Joseph. Hunky Cooper. Yeah, I'm standing by here on the sidelines. He's the man of the night, honored before the game, and the man of the moment with a big defensive play to set up the Rattlers' last touchdown, Hunky Cooper. How big was that? You know what? We need to come out and score with the offense like we did the first drive. But to win the games, you got to get stops, and that's what we've been able to do. We got two stops, and they made both field goals, but we were able to come out the second half and get a big turnover for a score, and that's a 14-point swing we needed at that time. Playing with heart and playing with passion, he's Hunky Cooper, guys. All right, Kevin. Arizona, Joe Germain, that's the first uh, miss in 10 attempts as he's getting it together. And the defense has been sharp after they were down by 23. 2.18 to go in the third quarter. Germain, Hurley's open. Floyd had slipped. Hurley gets the first down. Now you're going to see a lot of these highlights coming up on Monday. AFL fans get all the insight into the game with the AFL Weekly, hosted by Chris Rose. Mondays at 3.30 on FSN. You can just see Joe Germain just growing with each pass, each completed pass. Right there, Joe Germain under duress. Colorado Crush player in his face, knocking him to the ground, and he throws the strike. You need to experience not only success, you need to experience failure as well. I think Joe's experienced enough failure right now to make him grow. His team down by just one. Last minute and a half of the third quarter. Remain all the time in the world. Finds Justin Taplin for the first down near the 18-yard line. You're right, Wolf, about uh, the, the confidence because he's throwing the ball unlike he had done previous games and unlike he did at times in the first half tonight. No, he looks better in this second half than he's probably played all year long. Joe Germain has. He might want to buckle that chin strap, though, because, you know, the, the protection has been a little spotty sometimes. Guard eligible, Kelvin Ingram on the left. Jermaine on first and ten. Gets the pass off, Burley makes the grab. Inside the ten, goes to the first down. Football is such an emotional game. And the momentum just feeds on that emotion. It just swings like a pendulum, like Poe's pendulum, back and forth. And right now, it's stuck on the on the rattler side of that swing it is just stuck they are fired up the crowd has gotten into it and now all of a sudden mike daly realizes he's in a buzzsaw one point lead for daly and the crush rattlers are moving ingram is guard eligible nikki adderson is in a fullback we talked about the injury to kerry taylor it's going to be banged up jermaine gets the pass off wilson thomas and the high ball and the jump ball and he draws the flag be a flag on Colorado with uh, Hughley. Another crush going man coverage in Wilson Thomas. We know about this guy. He's a pass big... interference on the defense number two. That's a half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down at the end of the third quarter. They got Wilson Thomas listed at 6'6", 225 pounds. I don't think that he is that, but they're going to try to take advantage of him down there.
The Room Store's incredible President's Day sale is on now. Save up to 50% off and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. Buy any Broyhill dresser and mirror on sale and get 20 to 50% off the matching bed. Buy this Canyon Ridge dresser and mirror and get 50% off the matching bed, only $3.97 on sale. The huge President's Day sale with 0% interest till President's Day 2009 is on now at the Room Store. At the Room Store. Don't miss it. Hollywood is calling Tucson, and Desert Diamond Casinos wants to send you there. Now through March 9th, 20 lucky winners will be chosen each week for a chance to win gift certificates or Wheel of Fortune merchandise, or a chance to spend Desert Diamond's prize wheel for cash and prizes. Winners are invited to the grand prize party for the chance to win a trip to Hollywood and an audition for the chance to become a contestant on the Wheel of Fortune. Use your Desert Diamond Club card every day at either Desert Diamond location for automatic entry points. Hollywood is calling Tucson, and you can win it all! An enterprise of the Ghana Automation. Corolla, Corolla, hey, Corolla. How's the jingle for the President's Day 60 hour Corolla sale coming? Rock! Hail to Corolla, you really are a neat car. And right now, at an extra special value to, oh yeah! <laughs> That's great! Then you can work in the $159 a month lease offer. Or this could work. Happy birthday, George and Abe. Rock! And you on the I'm a saver wallet full of presidents at the 60 hour sale! See your Valley Toyota dealers now! Toyota! Moving forward. You are so cute. Oh, you're cuter. Can't think how adorable you are. I wish you were here. Dude, she sounds hot. Get me on the horn. Is someone there? Uh, the television? Honey, hang up the phone. What was that? I can't believe you. <laughs> so, how about that game Marion had last night? Yeah. The AFL on FSN is presented by Champ Sports, where you get all your team's official arena football league merchandise today. Champ Sports, where sports lives. By Las Vegas, home of Arena Bowl 19, Sunday, June 12th. And by the United States Army, an army of one. With Ron Wolfley, Cantor Devonis, America Western in Phoenix, Colorado whitewashed in the third quarter. First time they have been blanked in the third quarter in the short history of this uh, franchise and the fans are most definitely into it Arizona trying to get the lead back for the first time since the first quarter and you can see right there see that that's the turning of the screw for the Arizona Rattlers and the Colorado crush you put a goose egg up in the third and Arizona gets 14 they're back in it. first down and goal inside the five yard line early in motion picked up by Rashad Floyd Play blown dead. Contact at the line. Prior to the snap, false start number 88 offense. That's a five year penalty. Remains first down. Dennis, I think the clock will game. start on the snap. He's 89, but uh, in any event, first down and goal. Ball at the nine yard line. See, and that'll be a minus. When you play this game, the way they grade it, the coaches either get a plus or you get a minus. Right now, that, that's a big minus right there for Big Wendell. But he can offset it with a plus here in this next play. All you hope you can do <laughs> is that you get about five pluses to every one minus. Derek Chauchere and Todd Shell across the way for Arizona. Crush leading by one. Early in high motion. And it's incomplete. Grilled it intended for Burley. A flag near the line of scrimmage. Well, that's down there in the land of the Redwoods. Yeah, Pop 2 and Wendell Gaines going at it. Kind of jawing at each other right now. and That's what you want to do. You don't want the other guy to think you, he's got your number, so you sit there in your jaw with him and then wait for Illegal Dennis. defense. The Jack linebacker was out of the box. That's a five-yard penalty with an automatic first down. What happened? Dennis used to give uh, numbers. Check that. That's <laughs> a half position. position. An yeah, automatic the first linebacker down. who does not rush, is not supposed to rush. Well, when you got the white hat on, Ken, you do whatever you want. You're kind of the you're team. superior. <laughs> when you wear the white hat, you're pretty much what you say goes. The guys right. with the black hats with the little piping on it, the white piping, they uh, they mean nothing to the guy with the white hat. They defer, all right. 
Now first and goal, back inside the five-yard line. Burley in motion, trying to do the fullback, and it's incomplete. Intended for Burley, Tom Pace was also down there. Second down and goal from inside the five. That's something you rarely see in the Arena Football League where two plays are run back to back. I mean, the exact same play, they tried to hit it twice to Sia Burley, and the Colorado Crush were playing man. That's a route that you would call that you'd think they were playing zone. You did go ahead and hook up that outside receiver and then run that corner thinking the zone defender is going to jump that little hook, and then you'll throw it over his head. Larry Koharik. Yeah, the former head football coach of the Eagles. Nice soft pass, but to overthrow Burley, he couldn't get away from the defenders. And uh, very fortunate that ball was not picked off in the back of the end zone. Well, Cy had a hard time. The Rattlers definitely trying to go to Cy Burley down here, and the crush playing great man coverage defense. But that time, big Richard Brown, the umpire, actually picked Cy Burley. And Richard Brown's a big guy, too, down there. Mr. Brown, you can see, you can tell he's played a little bit. A lot of these guys officiate, uh, obviously, NCAA and some in the NFL. Here's third down and goal inside the five. Jermaine, a screen. Trinidad has it for the touchdown. Old <laughs> oh, Frank Trinidad doesn't catch a lot of touchdown passes for the Arizona Rattlers. And you could look him out. You could look at him out there. He kind of looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex with his tail cut off, trying to get in the end zone right there. You can tell Old Trinidad is not used to doing that, but he comes up big right there in a great play call by Larry Kuharich. Arizona, the lead for the first time since the uh, first quarter, and they're going to go for two. Randy Gatewood won't get in. But not a bad idea like to extend it to a seven-point lead as it is. They're up and up by five. Todd Shell's team has it going on in the second half. AFL football action. We'll have more from America West in a moment. Anheuser-Busch has sponsored TV ads encouraging adults to drink responsibly. We've also been committed to fighting underage drinking. We've developed programs to help parents talk with their children about not drinking. As parents, you have the greatest influence over your teen's decisions. Please join the men and women who brew, sell, and serve America's beers in encouraging teens to make good choices. Together, we can win this fight. A message from the families of Anheuser-Busch. Responsibility matters. Even when John Elway's team was up by 23 in the uh, first half, he knew it was a long ways from being over. They're down by five now. Get your seatbelts on for another wild AFL finish. The crush next week, back at the Pepsi Center. Take on L.A. And then on the road to Nashville, playing teams in their division with uh, Nashville. And then they take on Columbus, Dallas, in Big D, and then back home against Las Vegas. And, and really, this league is so balanced with there aren't any gimmies on the schedule. No, I think it's it's just like some of the better leagues. I think parity has come here, but I don't like to call it parity. I would call it competition. Marshall with the return. Stays on his feet, has a oh, running God. room, and brought down by Mark Tucker with a touchdown-saving tackle. 
already. The crush returning to touch, uh, return to kick for a touchdown. And getting two TDs on fumble recovery. Outside, number 17 of the kicking team. That five-yard penalty will be tacked on to the end of the run. First down. Arizona was offsides on the kick. That's happened a few times here tonight. Well, there's been a lot of penalties in this game. We talked about the comeback. Arizona was down by a healthy margin. And now scoring 34 the last 41 points. They were down by 23. That really is a phenomenal turnaround because anyone who was watching this first half, you were thinking, boy, the Crush really have dominated this game. They've got it firmly in control, and look out. It can change quickly in this league. First three times they were stopped was when they opted to kick field goals. McKenzie tries to get a pick from Marshall and hit hard down around the 13th. Arizona Rattlers next week will take on Todd Shell's former team, the New York Dragons, Long Island. Then come home to meet Los Angeles. They're playing well. Tampa Bay was beaten pretty badly, but they're a good team. Yeah, that's uh, going to be the tough one right there. Markham's team lost last week to Orlando. Pass thrown for Harrell in the end zone, and we have a flag at the line of scrimmage and a flag in the end zone. And we have Harrell and uh, Clarence Lawson down outside the board. Well, that's the matchup the Colorado Crush want. They want big Damian Harrell at 6'3", 200 pounds all over Clarence Lawson. Clarence only goes 5'8", and I guarantee you that he's not 5'8". A tattoo could eat peanuts off Clarence Lawson's head. The play certainly much bigger than that. There are two fouls on the play. Offside, number 98. That penalty's declined. Pass interference, number 27 of the defense. That penalty is accepted. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. You're supposed to accept gifts, are you not? Yeah. That's just. Dennis will definitely take charge of the game. Todd Shell. Certainly not too happy about that. Now he is an intense, he was an intense football player, an intense competitor. Many think the man you saw on the blue eye, Cedric Bonner, one day will be a Rattler uh, coach, if not an assistant, or not a head coach, an assistant. First down and goal. Arizona leads by five. That's Harold in motion. Dutton with time, and it's caught for the touchdown. And a flag is thrown. But that ball, you can see, stayed in the end zone. I mean, you're allowed to spike it, but it can't leave the playing field. I think what he also did, Damian Harold, got the behind the jam and kind of hooked around Clarence Lawson. Good throw by Dutton, but I think he caught it, spiked it, and threw it at Clarence Lawson. I think that's what the Zebras are going to say. The touchdown is good after the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct on number one of the offense, spiking the ball at the defensive player. That 10-yard penalty will be put in the bank and enforced after the kickoff. So you can celebrate, Wolf, but uh, you have to be somewhat judicious receiver. in how you celebrate. Oh, here's the touchdown. Then you're going to go down and boom, yeah, right, right there. there. Damian Harrell spikes the ball. And that's illegal, Ken. You can't do that. You can't try to show both, try to embarrass the other guy, because that's the thing that starts fights down there on the field. Flag is thrown. It is not delay game. There's still plenty of time left. Man. False start, number 77 of the kicking team. That's a five-yard penalty. We're still in the try. You know, I don't know what it is. The clock will not run now during the try, only the 25-second clock. Last year, they were moving along pretty good. They were letting them play, and, and you have some you, you can't hide. You have no choice. But we have seen a lot of flags thrown here in the first part of the AFL schedule. Yeah, this is this is as littered as a game gets. And this one hurts. I mean, you put rush back, be like a 22-yard field goal, but he does make it. Boy, he's been dynamite tonight. So now Colorado with the lead back here with 10:50 left in the game from America West. Maybe should say in regulation.
soldiers in the Army Reserve are all around you. They take pride and honor in serving their country, knowing it doesn't mean giving up their civilian life. They further their education and gain the skills and experience that help them succeed every day. Become a soldier in the Army Reserve. It's not your everyday job. At Champ Sports, we know that arena football is not a game. It's a lightning fast, up and down, side to side, whiplash inducing roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Find all the hottest AFL jerseys, caps, shirts, and more at the official athletic retailer of the AFL, Champ Sports, where sport lives. Life not exciting enough for you? Get scratchers from the Arizona Lottery and put some cheer back in your day. <laughs> Play Fabulous Fives. It's the five-star game with a top prize of $55,000. The Arizona Lottery. We got your ticket. Crush up by two. And a quick reminder, the best damn sports show, period, is the greatest nightly sports show on television. Host Tom Arnold and co-host John Sally, the best damn sports show, period, weeknights at 10.30, only on FSN. Well, Arizona and Colorado exchanged the lead several times in the first quarter, and then the crush opened up a 23-point lead. Five Burley has three touchdown receptions, helping the team come back. The Arizona Rattlers, and right now the crush on top by a couple. What a game. And here is Burley. This one takes a big bounce. It actually hit the facade of the grandstand. So it'll be a touchback. And a good thing the way that ball bounced. It hates to, if you're an Arizona player, to see that ball end up in the hands the of the crush. Ball hits the railing. That is immediately dead. Touchback. First down, five yard line. Imports of this game. Again, each team has lost two already. Crush had two tight losses to uh, Chicago. The penalty at the 10 yard penalty. Balls at the 15 yard line. That's right, First Dennis. Down. Good thing to remember that uh, as far as the Arizona fans concerned. But the Crush had a couple of heartbreaking defeats. And, and Mike Daly, uh, he, that poker face, he's just, after everything he's been through earlier in his life, he's just a solid coach. And, well, I, I see a little. I, I think a little sweat Do up you? there, Ken. Speed, maybe, perhaps. Just a little. I think he's he's sweating a little bit. All these calls. I think Dennis Lipsky. All these clarifications <laughs> has gotten a little worked up. Tom Pace in motion, corner of your screen. And at the gen now Hawkins instead will pick up Sia Burley near board line. Gatewood hit by Hughley. <laughs> Well, anytime you get a lot of man coverage, the way the Colorado Crush have been giving the Arizona Rattlers, what you want to do is go out of a trips formation. You want to get three receivers on one side, and then one guy zigs, the other guy zags, and the other guy squats, and then you find out who's open. Jermaine helping get this team back in the game after struggling at points last week and the previous game against Orlando that was played here at America West Arena. Flag on the field. Tom Pace has it. Would have the first down. We'll see about the penalty flag. And like the, the pinball, a human pinball, carries his way down to about the 10 yard line. Uh, Tom Pace is kind of like a crazy legs guy. The old uh, crazy legs Hirsch. He Illegal the formation. Number 99 was not head up on the center. That's called cheating. That penalty's declined. Resolve the play. First down. <laughs> So like Elroy Hirsch, and you've said uh, before, this guy's got the good shuttle times. Tom Pace, a la Chris Horn, who's now in the NFL. Yeah, he really is. He's a Chris Horn type. And I could see him going on and playing in the NFL one day. I really could. Maurice Anderson, livid with the call. Arizona has it first and goal from the 10-yard line. Gatewood tries to get a block from Burley, stays on his feet. In good hard work, and it's cruised by about uh, four members of the crush. 
Oh, Sia Burley just threw an incredible block out there for Randy Gaywood. And Sia Burley is a guy that is not known for his blocking prowess, that's for sure. But boy, he went out there and he just cut the defender down. Watch Sia Burley, number five, right here, come up and just cut the Colorado Crush man down. Randy Gatewood does a good job of getting inside, gaining up some positive yards. His quarterback at uh, Central Florida was Dante Culpepper. As Burley goes in motion. Jermaine, here comes some pressure, gets rid of it, caught for the touchdown by Randy Gatewood. What a great leaping grab by Gatewood. Well, that's a throw right there by Joe Jermaine that Larry Kuharic will probably pull him aside and say, you know what, uh, don't throw that again. Great throw, but don't ever do that again because the odds of that ball not getting picked off, you can see right here, he just kind of pushes it. Jermaine steps up and then just flips it over the defender over two Colorado Crush defenders, and Randy Gatewood brings it down. That's one of those deals you go, you know what, great job, kid. If you ever yeah. do that again, I'm going to kill you. It's a four-point lead for Arizona. The PAT, and it is good. Well, we're getting back to where we were in the first quarter. Back and forth we go. Seesaw, Arizona, and Colorado. And right now it's Arizona with the lead as they're up by five. Arizona Sports Report. We're all over the Suns on All-Star Saturday. JJ and Q shoot for three while Amari tries to tear down the rim. On your Arizona Sports Report, next. Arizona has the lead in the fourth quarter. A tomorrow Pac-10 College Hoops returns to FSN when Oregon State takes on number 10 Arizona. Coverage only on FSN. The Wildcats, Lou Olsen's team. Getting ready for the NCAA tournament. A lot of hoops action left on FSN. We're indoors where they do play basketball, home of the Phoenix Suns, and right now AFL football is McKenzie getting set. And they're going to have to honor, though, the onside kick. I think Anthony Brenner's taking some type of pain medication because he's kicking the ball now. And Brenner, not deep, but it does go into the stands. No return, so good job indeed by Anthony Brenner. Well, it's said that Arizona's had several players banged up in this game. They're really short-handed. Taylor is out. Yeah, he gets the souvenir. Brenner is hurting. Trinidad is in pain. Colorado's been relatively healthy. And right now you get down to the, the team that makes the mistake, loses serve, and really then becomes behind the eight ball. Well, we're getting down to that point in the fourth quarter where time is of the essence. Every possession is critical how you manage a clock. Barrel in motion. Caught by McCullough, hit immediately. And driven back. Kevin McCabe standing by with Joe Germain. All right, I'm here in the uh, the bench area with Joe Germain, the big touchdown pass to Randy Gate. Would you feel any more confident, more in control every time out? Yeah, we just got to try to keep putting drives together. Um, because you know, we're, we're, I try to, we count on those guys trying to score. Hopefully, our defense can get a stop and help us out. That would be awesome. But uh, Randy made a, made a big play, big catch right there for us to put it in there. All right, guys, back upstairs. All right, Kevin. 
Dutton gets the pass off, caught by Harold for the first down, a comeback effort. As Joe Germain. Good to see, uh, as far as Arizona's concerned, feels to be calm. Nice pickup, Dutton hitting his man for 16 yards. Yeah, and that stat, that last graph we had up at Joe Germain showed seven touchdowns, zero interceptions. And that really is progress for the youngster down there. And now, all of a sudden, you're a Colorado Crush fan. You're looking at John Dutton saying, you know what, I, I, I'm glad he's our quarterback. Dutton. Harold can't make the grab. And a flag thrown back at the 20-yard line. I think we're going to probably get Punky Cooper out of the box. He's thrown in that jack linebacker area, which would give the crush an automatic first down. Illegal defense. Number 14, the jack linebacker, was out of the box. That's a five-yard penalty with an automatic first down. It's not your first day of whole game, is it? Boy, Dennis has even got the white whistle. Well, that's when you know you're in charge. You not only have the white hat, you have the white whistle. Lucky going down below is uh, take a look. Uh, that truly is a good call right there by the official. You can see Hunky Cooper come over the top of the Mac linebacker and leave that box area. Box that's area being the uh, tackles. There's Harold. We'll go in motion. Dumps it off a screen on the guard eligible play, and Clarence Lawson cuts down the big man. That's Maurice Anderson, and they don't get the first down. That's kind of fun to watch, uh, big and little. It's a scary proposition right there for most players. Clarence Lawson, a tough guy, no doubt about it. Came right up there, and got his axe out, and chopped down Paul Bunyan. Dutton, one interception tonight. In the end zone, incomplete. Overthrowing Harold. And that's a challenge uh, Ron talked about. With Harold's size, he has a distinct advantage, plus the leaping ability, going against a guy the size of Clarence Lawson. Well, that's the matchup they really do want in the middle. They want Damian Harrell on Clarence Lawson. Although Damian Harrell is not the fastest of players, you don't need it in this league. It's kind of like having a 40-inch vertical and jumping in a foam boot. Place is rocking here tonight, America West Arena. Third down and five. Arizona leading by five. Dutton batted around, intercepted by Randy Gatewood. Flag on the field. Gatewood comes up with a deflection. Well, I think that ball was deflected. Now the herd comes together here to talk about it, but I think that ball was deflected. If it was deflected, well, against Colorado. It's against Arizona now. Oh, excuse me, yes, you're right. Number 25, a defense. At the half of this Dutton was clapping, jumping up and down. Hunky Cooper getting clarification. Yeah, they're going to call Terrence Joseph for pass interference hanging on the back of Andy McCullough. Todd Shell working the official. Colorado trailing, 5-0-1 to go in the game. And that is a head coach's job. A head coach's job is to go ahead and work the officiating group. You've got to stick up for your team. I mean, even if you don't think it's going to have an effect, you got to make them think you are just, you're killing me, Whitey. You're yeah. killing me. So instead of a uh, pick or even a fourth down and five, it's an automatic first down, first and goal at the eight-yard line. Harrell in high motion. McCullough right, Hawkins left. This is Hawkins. He answers his way to the five. Second down and goal. It'll take it from three yards. Well, that's just one of those eye contact plays right there between John Dutton and Hawkins down here. That's where you kind of look at him and he looks at you and you say, you know what, that corner's playing off and off a lot. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You're yeah, thinking what you're thinking. One minute, you say it's not the one ball, minute, you shoot it out to me. But well, that was well defended 
almost baited, I would say. Lawson went ahead and came up so quickly along with support from Hunky Cooper, a well-defended play. Clarence Lawson in Arizona trying to get a goal line stand. And you do have him, not a whole lot, but uh, you do have him in the AFL. And we said before, this is the point where you're going back and forth. And neither team able to stop the other. But if someone can get a, an extra possession with the stop, uh, like Arizona thought they had for a brief moment, that would be a real key into getting a win here. Veteran quarterback John Dutton beat the Rattlers as a quarterback at San Jose. Back to the NDP of the Arena Bowl a couple of years ago. And this one is into the stand. Akala, the intended receiver. Well, that was some miscommunication right there. There's some value on that the big skin. Yeah, the fans are fired off. You know, the ball goes into the into the stands. It's anybody's ball again. It's kind of even when a player goes over the boards, they're all over them trying to go ahead and be the guy that helps them up. Well, there was some miscommunication on that last play. Instead of a, a fade stop, McCullough went ahead and ran a fade. Fit formation. Off to the right or your left side of the screen. On the right side now is Dutton with some time. Pump throws for the touchdown. And a couple of flags in the end zone. Mikey Cooper and Clarence Lawson were down there. Harrell, another touchdown grab. What a great move by Damian Harold and a great throw by John Dutton. Always the the play, touchdown. Number 77 is an eligible receiver. Locked up, man on man down there on the goal line. A lot of teams will go zone when they get that trip bunch formation like that to one side. Because, you know, you typically get the guy who goes in, the guy who goes out, and the guy who hooks up. So you just zone it off, because if you go man, sometimes you'll bump each other off. Gordon PAT here for play. Rush has been perfect thus far and drills this one. So the crush now leading up by two with 302 left in this one. Expect another wild finish. What else is new in the AFL? Armchair quarterback needs a high definition widescreen projection TV monitor. Aaron's has a great selection at the guaranteed lowest price. <laughs> Game over? Game over? What? Bon Jovi. Hellway. What you doing in Vegas, little buddy? We're gonna be here for the Arena Bowl this June. You're dreaming. Am I? Why don't we settle this thing right now? Go for it. Drive to Arena Bowl 19 Las Vegas every weekend on Fox Sports Net and NBC. Fresh, smooth, real Bud Light. Come on, baby. I think we lost him. Yeah. It's all here. Colorado with the lead back, up by a couple. Tonight's Iron Man of the Game, presented by the U.S. Army. Now, Saul Pot, too, has been a force on both sides of the ball, scoring an offensive touchdown right there. And then coming around the corner, caught forcing the fumble right here that John Paiaua picks up and rolls in. He is our Iron Man of the game, and I'll bet you he's glad that he's got a U on the end of his name instead of an A, because you wouldn't want to be Saul Pate. No. Okay, now Pate is not good, but Patu is good. Not in football, and I guess it's a uh, Malalale, which in Tonga means, hi, how you doing? And that's exactly what he was telling Jermaine, perhaps, as he knocked the ball loose. And another former fellow uh, player from Tonga, John Paiua recovered that strip for the touchdown. And that was big early in the first half. Hunky 
bobbles and brings it up to the five at the 10 and <laughs> he just doesn't quit. He is brought down to the 13 yard line with another flag on the field. Well, we'll wait and sort this one out, but we know that Mr. Lipsky will do it. Holding number 17 of the receiving team. That's a half the distance to the goal. First down. Randy Gate Gatewood, the guilty party. What is the record for penalty flags in a game, Captain? 7,314. <laughs> and I hope we don't reach it. My goodness. Right now, too, you know what? Inside it. Two minutes, almost down to the two and a half minute mark of the fourth quarter. Let the boys play. That's what I say. Let them play. Ingram, guard eligible. You see left side of your screen. Raised his hand. He's a guard. Declaring that. Make the pass to him is Thomas in motion. Score in time. Top of your screen. Jermaine going for the home run ball for Wilson Thomas. And it's picked off by Hawkins. Brought down near the two and a half yard line. And a huge takeaway here for Colorado. They lead, they have the ball with 2.20 left in the game. You know, sometimes you get lulled into a sense of security when you've got a 6'6 wide receiver down there and he's going against a man that is much smaller than he is in Hawkins. And you go ahead and you hang the ball up anyways. I think Joe Germain would want to have that ball back. When we come back, Colorado on top. But for now, sit back and enjoy your flight. While you were waiting for five o'clock to roll around, our slot machines paid out $1.6 million. More money than any other casino in Arizona. What are you waiting for? Colorado with the lead, and just as important, they have the ball back thanks to uh, the pass. Joe Germain would like to have that one back. And like I said, you know, sometimes when you look down there and you've got a receiver who's 6'6", and you say, you know, just throw the ball up there and let the guy go ahead and make a jump ball on it. And that's probably a good way to think. But you know what? you got to give him a chance to jump up and grab it. You can't throw it over his head where it's an easy interception. And that's really maybe the first bad pass Joe Germain has had this second half. First pick thrown by Germain. First time Arizona has been stopped in the second half. And Colorado with 2.07 to go in the game with a two point lead. Arrow in motion. Dutton goes to Marshall, who's buried on the near board by Gates. Not much of a game. Another flag down yep. on the field. And uh, draws the attention. Todd Shell very upset. Another penalty appears to be against Arizona. Number 25 is the defense. That's a five-yard penalty with an automatic first down. Terrence He's going to call that. Yeah, call that on Terrence Jones. Look at that. There it is tonight. 14 penalties. A new team record for the Arizona Rattlers. And I just thought maybe I was living in the twilight zone. Well, you are, but not because of that. It, I was waiting for Rod Serling to show up in the booth. Still a minute, 38 to go. Colorado. Get their second win of the year. Winner gets to 500. Loser, two games below 500. Deflected, and it's incomplete. Well, right now, if you're Mike Daly and a Colorado Crush fan, you got to be feeling really good about the fact John Dutton's in here and you've got a two-point lead. The clock is ticking. It's coming down to the one-minute mark right now. This is a wily veteran. This is a guy that only four years into it has won an Arena Bowl and has been the MVP of that Arena Bowl. Top of the show, we told you how his 
pass intended for McKenzie went incomplete. And that was Daly's last uh, chance to get to the Arena Bowl last year. So we have 60 seconds of football up. A two-point lead for Colorado. Important AFL game here at America West Arena in Phoenix. I was cooking dinner and I just fell asleep. <coughs> I collapsed. I couldn't call for help. But ADT did. They saved my life. An ADT monitored fire detector actually signals ADT so we can call for help. Call now and save over $100 off the regular price when you buy ADT's family package and save up to 20% on your homeowner's insurance. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP. ADT. Always there. In competition, injuries happen. It's part of the game. And to get back your level of performance takes a lot of hard work, discipline, and the best health care. HealthSouth is the nation's leading provider of outpatient diagnostic, surgery, and rehabilitation services. So we can help you get back fast to the action, the competition, and the glory. We know your body. We understand your spirit. We get you back. The Room Store is number one in selection and number one in sales of Sealy Posturepedic in Arizona. Only the Room Store has a no-hassle money-back satisfaction guarantee. We'll beat any price, any day. Buy it today and sleep on it tomorrow, and we'll remove your old mattress and box spring set free. Save $100 to $600 on premium, super premium, and ultra premium Sealy Posturepedic mattress and mismatched box spring sets, and get 0% interest till President's Day 2009 with no minimum purchase. At the Room Store. Don't miss it. A lot of rain outside, but you can come inside, dance, watch some football, and another close AFL game. Cedric Bonner, they thought he was going to start. Bonner, I'm, I don't know if it's tougher when he's playing or watching this game that he can't participate. It's tougher right now for him. Dutton. And it is caught by Harrell. A nice grab near board line. That's a first down. Harrell's got three touchdown receptions. You know, once again, it's just that matchup. The Rattlers playing man coverage with Clarence Lawson in the middle of the field. You get Damian Harrell, that great big guy, all that room to run full speed at the line of scrimmage and then have the option of either taking the post or, or taking the corner. Of, uh, the downtown area and that extends right down I-10 and then in through parts of Sun Lakes down near Chandler. And we're going to see scattered showers on and off. Many of you folks here might be heading on out to uh, Westworld to, uh, to see the classic car auction going on this weekend. Of course, the uh, Barrett-Jackson auction, it runs through Sunday and they got rained out today, or not rained out, I shouldn't say that. They had a lot of rainfall out there and that, uh, well, it made conditions not so nice for the people who wanted to walk inside and well, they didn't have their umbrella. <laughs> that guy did, though. Anyway, we will be talking about our weather forecast because we have a lot more in store for you coming up in just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Well, new at 10, 107 inmates in Maricopa County's Durango Jail are in isolation tonight. The fear is they may have contracted chickenpox. So far, one inmate has come down with it. The others are being vaccinated. As a precaution, the inmates will be quarantined for 30 days. County officials say they don't expect any problems with cases backing up. Visitors and guards, though, are wearing protective masks and gloves. Also new at 10, federal agents busted the first drop house of the year in Phoenix. ICE agents found 40 illegal immigrants in this house near 40th Avenue in Thomas. It was completely unfurnished, and neighbors say cars would come and go all night long. The feds arrested two smugglers at the house, a man and a woman. Swift moving water in an irrigation ditch has claimed the life of a little two-year-old boy in Scottsdale. Family members reported Jair Villarreal missing around 8 o'clock last night. Searchers found his body in an irrigation ditch about a mile downstream from his home at Mesa Drive and McDonald on the Salt River Indian Reservation. I wasn't believing him. They, he, they just said he was lost and I just raced here. That when I was here, they told me he would drown. The sheriff's office says the water in the ditch was about 18 inches and moving very swiftly. The ditch is only yards away from the family's home and is only partially fenced off. The property is leased by Russo Farms. The owner says he was unaware that the fence was inadequate and will make repairs immediately.
The number of Americans killed in Iraq today continues to rise. It now stands at 37 dead. 30 Marines and one Navy soldier died when a Marine helicopter crashed in a sandstorm. The chopper was transporting Marines for an election-related security mission when it went down 200 miles west of Baghdad. The unit was based out of Camp Pendleton, California. Six other troops also died today in insurgent ambushes. It was the deadliest single day since the start of U.S. involvement in the war in Iraq. We weep and mourn when soldiers lose their life. And uh, the...